Um, we need yeast. I got new yeast because I'm actually out of yeast packets. So we got this. Um, I really don't like how many C's are in the fo- I know you meant to say word focaccia, but <laughs> forward focaccia. <sighs> no, I, ca I can't cry laughing this early in the day. Sack of potatoes, thank you so much for subscribing. That's very kind of you. How are you doing? Come in, come in, come in. You see, a Ford Focaccia does actually sound like a real car. <laughs> Pigeon, go enjoy your nap. Have a good L1. It's like, yeah, I got a, I got, I got a Ford Focaccia. <laughs> That's what the F stands for in F-150. It's Focaccia. <laughs> it's a Ford Focaccia 150. It means you get 150 loaves of focaccia when you get the, the Ford F-150. <laughs> okay, okay, I gotta stop. We need to do this. Like, I actually need, this is one thing today that I need to do kind of in the time I'm planning to do it, because otherwise we'll never get it done. <laughs> All right, I got the flour. I need salt. That's not salt, but I'm getting it. Uh, we have a little crunchy salt. Where's the little crunchy? Where is the crunchy salt? Where is it? <gasps> is it the back? Come back. Oh, it's not. Where's my crunchy salt? Oh, there's me crunchy, crunchy salt. Thorin this side, hello and welcome. I <laughs> like the chaos to this. Oh, you ain't, you ain't seen nothing yet. How are you doing, Thorin? I hope you're having a good day today. Andy Jani, hello. Long time no see. How's things? Come in, come in, come in. All right, I've got the... I forgot the normal salt. Wait, the normal normal salt's here. Whoop. Olive oil, salt, crunchy salt. Rosemary, I do have, but I only have dried rosemary. I could not find fresh rosemary. I couldn't even find a rosemary plant anywhere. So, um, who's chef? He's his friend. He is a friend today. Cake, what do I do with, this, with such sign up or else sites is getting a disposable mail then printed in cipher with PD? Wait, what, what? What do I do with such sign up or else sites if is getting a disposable mail? Oh, I see what you mean. Sorry, it took me a minute to process what you were saying. See, I just didn't want to make everyone else have to do it. That's all it was. Like, I wouldn't mind doing it once myself, but having everyone else have to sign up to get a recipe. No, no, I don't want to put everyone through that. Okay, we have some dried rosemary. It's not the same, but it'll do. And we're going to be putting tomatoes on this. Now the tomatoes are, I actually should take the tomatoes and stuff out of the fridge because I, I put them in there to kind of keep them fresh. Vegetables have been going off really, really quickly lately and I'm, I'm always worried about stuff just going bad in like a day and a half. So we got all of that. Yes, that's everything. I'm gonna, I'll wash my hands once more just to be sure because I, you know, you know, it's, I'm gonna put my hands all in there all in there, all around town, you know? You know? Um, we have a ton of rosemary in our garden, should I cut off some and mail it? Yeah, just give him the whole thing. I had a lovely rosemary plant and it dropped dead one day. I, this might have been around the same time that my little, um, it might have been the same time that my bonsai dropped dead. It could have been that. It could have been that. All right. Okay, so I'm going to get the little measuring jug because we need a little bit of warm-ish water. Water. We need warm-ish water. So I'm gonna pop a little bit in here. I'm gonna put a little bit from the kettle. Actually, I'll do this first. Da yeah, mealybugs, that was it. I couldn't remember what they're called. Mealybugs are the bane of my existence. They really are. They they destroyed that poor little tree. Guka, we'll see you soon and be good to your good self. I'm gonna catch you when we catch you, all right? Is this cold water? Is this, is this? Is it cold on? Ah, it's cold enough, that'll do. do, 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 do. That's kind of lukewarm. We can always pop in a little bit of extra water from the kettle if we need, so, you know. I've got a bunch of herbs growing. It's nice to walk out and grab a handful. That's like, it sounds nice, honestly. I, I would love to have a little herb garden. That's the dream. Right, big bowl. Yes, I'll use this big bowl. I'm, I have a bigger bowl that I'm going to put it in to prove. This, is, this stupidly big bowl is now the proving bowl. And that's all it does. It holds things to have them prove in there. Prove yourself. Gotcha. Gotcha. Mini books are demons. They really, really are. Like they, woof, woof. Don't get me started. Right. 500 grams of bread flour incoming. Herb garden sun really nice. Yeah, there's so cute. Just like little, just like a little selection of, you know, easy to care for ones as well. 
All right, let's go. 500 grams of plain flour. It just flew in. I bet there'll be enough in this now after lugging that big bag on my shoulder. 500 grams. Five, come on, 500. 91, 97. 504, hang on, I'll take a little bit out, just, just to be like that about it. I still have to figure out how to keep my herb garden over winter. I miss the fresh herbs in December so much. Oh, oh, sorry, I should have made it more clear, Dreyfus. I'm not eyeballing it. I have a little scales underneath here. If I could eyeball it, I'd be very impressed with myself. But I have a scales, but the, the actual screen is towards me. So that's 500. There we go. Lovey Bun and Aline, hello. Come in, come in, how are you keeping? Yeah, the little silver thing here. Here, I'll show you. Ta ding It's got a little screen on there. It's handy with the oak, really. I don't tend to use the bowl that came with it because you can just like click it to adjust for any bowl, which is handy out. All right, so we need our yeast on one side. I'm gonna get the whisk, actually. There it is. I will not use the whisk for anything else because I know it'll get clumpy and lumpy and stuck and disgusting. <laughs> Can the tree, hello, how are you doing? Yes, and we're on the front page today, so uh, hi, front page. Uh, <laughs> hope you're all having a good old time. Yep. Yeast. Okay, the yeast is going on one side, the salt going on the other side. The reason for this is just, I'm, you know, I'm not assuming you're stupid, just for anyone to know, is that the salt can kill the yeast. So you want to separate them and then you can mix them together. Once there's a little more padding, I suppose, between them, I don't know how else you'd put it. A bit of, a bit of distance between them, you know? They're, they're not speaking to each other. <laughs> Oh goodness. All right, I got one teaspoon, two teaspoons sea salt. So we're gonna put that over. No, that's the wrong one. Nah, that's fine. Just a, a little bit, you know? Just a, just a little bit of salty. So it's technically sea salt for this bit, but I don't like, I don't like the way it goes if you use the big chunky salt. So I'm keeping the chunky salt for later. There we go. Now. Oh, canned tuna incorporated. Hello, I love shark chef hat. Yes, you can give him a little hug as well if you'd like. Exclamation mark, hug shark. It is free and easy to give him a big owl hug. Take it away with you in your brain today. Mom, we're on TV. Zahata, hello, how are you doing? Come in, come in. How are you? Cha -cha -cha -cha. Right, so that's all mixed together there. Now what we want to do, I just, I like using that, it's, it's easier. Um, Dee Cully, hello, I heard the Irish accent on the front page at pop and say hello to a fellow Irish person. Yes! Hey, how are you doing? What county are you from? I mean, you don't have to tell me, obviously, you know. Keep your, keep your, your privacy private. <laughs> you said your privacy, privacy, privacy. But, it's lovely to see you. I hope you're keeping well. Well, we need now to keep, we need to make a little well in the middle. <laughs> well. And we need two tablespoons of oil. From Kildare, oh, Kildare, I'm from Tipperary. So I'm, I'm a bit further down the country, but I still haven't escaped Dublin, so look at You get here and then you can't get back out, but that's just the way of it. All right, two tablespoons of olive oil and a bit of our lukewarm water. Bootsy, hello, I heard food and sharks, you're in the right place. Come in, come in, how are you doing? Come in. I hope you're having a fine day on this day today. Two, where are my tablespoon? The tablespoon's a big boy, that's a half tablespoon. I think it's the big one. Tablespoon, all right, two of these. And then we don't have to put in all the water. We want to put in like a little bit at a time. Because if we put it all in, you know, then we have to add more flour and it's the whole rigmarole, you know? Sea salt to balance the saw salt. <laughs> oh, goodness. What will I do with you? I'm just going to leave this over here for now and I'll, I'll deal with it in a minute. Be grand. Be grand. It's a good day having a rest and having... Oh, knitting snuds for the greyhounds. Get out. That's so cute. I'm just going to... Before I get my hands off flour, I'm going to do a little, so I'm going to bring the table back a little bit. Just a little tiny bit so that I can read chat more easily. I'm also trying to not block the fridge. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Now I can read you. <sighs> not like that. Not that kind of read. <laughs> I'm going to get that out of my way for a minute. I'm going to, okay, Shark is very far away, so he is safe from the flour and everything. And why not use a normal spoon? Because I fear getting it wrong. <laughs> I'm not even joking, like I'm so afraid of getting it wrong, because if I get it wrong, I can't, I can't take it back out again. I can't take the oil, I mean, I can take the oil back out, but I really don't want to. Okay, that's not very lukewarm. I'm gonna pop in a little more water from the kettle, just to make sure it's got a little bit of, you know, a little bit of something, do you know? Achoo. Now, let's have a look, is that, mm, that's not quite enough actually. More, more. 
That will do. Now we want to put this in a little bit at a time. Little bit. If you want any shark close-ups, it'll have to wait until after this because my hands are going to be destroyed. <laughs> like absolutely destroyed. All right, so we have our two tablespoons of oil and our bit of water going, bit of water going in, I'm so worried. Like I've done this before, but you know, you'd still have a bit of fear that somehow it will go wrong. All right, now I'm going to use this hand, no, this hand, I'm gonna use this hand to bring it together because I'm, you know, I'm trying to ration my non flowery hand. You can't unring a bell and you can't unoil a focaccia. That's true. I, I learned that one in Minecraft. Uh, <laughs> and me every time I make bread, even though I make bread every day for five years, like sometimes you're just like, what if I did it wrong this time? Like sometimes I get a thing where I'm doing something very, very normal every day, like making a cup of tea or, you know, making a sandwich. And I stand there with a knife. I'm like, have I done something? really terribly wrong somehow. <laughs> Have I made this poison, even though I've done everything the same way? You know, that little, the little thing fires off in my brain. Oh, it rings your bell, no! Oh dear. Oh, Sweet Peep says, I was trying to figure out the word for mixing things with the salt to lessen its impact, but all I come up with is diffuse the salt into the other stuff so its percentage in the mixture is less, because there's other things. Don't F up the yeast, it's, it's too early for my brain. You don't want to mess up the yeast, because if that yeast is dead, it's not going to do, like that dough is not going to do anything for you. It won't make the tea for you, it won't say hello, no, no, not me, no good. I have had to start over because of dead yeast, and it was sad. Heather, hello, and um, I don't, have we a mod fight going on just yet, lads? I'm gonna add a little more, I want this to be a little better looking. Bread can be so finicky though, it really can. We got bread of science and cake of witchcraft. Oh, no, thank you. No, you're entirely right though. Like, it, it really is tough. Like, I remember the the first time I tried making bread, because do you remember, do you remember early first, first lockdown, everyone was like, I'm going to make bread. So I tried to make bread and it went. Uh, it went. Graf, welcome in, hello. It, it went, so, I can make a decent soda bread loaf, and I love soda bread, so that works out fine. Like, it's my favorite bread, I'd say. But I can't make a white sandwich loaf to save my life. It's always a little bit wrong somehow. There's always something just a little bit off on it. Oh, noodle, hello, bread. Hello. Would you like to see the dough? Oh. <laughs> oh, dee, 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 dee. Um, Frog live, hello. All the frogs here today. How are you keeping? Come in, come in, come in. Sandwich loaf is my special if you need tips. I'd appreciate that actually. I'm, I might take you up on that sometime. For anyone who's coming new as well, we have a Discord if you'd like to join in. And we do a food and drink section specifically for talking about food and or drink. Yeah. So if anyone has top tips or any cool recipes they want to share or just something nice you've made, you can always share it over there. And y'all, I made breads as geeky cultures. I made pretzels during the pandemic. Oh. I want to try making pretzels again because it was, it's almost two years ago. I think it was two years ago. Well, it will be two years ago in September. I made pretzels on stream, like big, big ones. And it was, you know, they were actually pretty good, but I'd like to give it a second go, you know? And Debbie says like, make sourdough with some experience, holds my hand every step. Currently my starter is mostly dead in the fridge, no. I have a friend, um, Lucy Goose, who does me in chat the odd time, who makes a killer sourdough loaf. Like, oh my goodness. It's some of the nicest bread I've ever had. She's really, really good at it. She's real good. Um, stuffed bagel plays. Hello, I sometimes cheat when it comes to soda bread and snag Paul Rankin's fruit soda. Oh, that, listen, it's, it's pretty good. Um, what's the other one? There's another really, really good soda bread. It's um, McCambridge. Oh, McCambridge is, oh, it's so good. It's so good. It's just like, it's a simple brown soda bread. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful little thing. All right, I need to put this on the table and give it an L need. It's, a, it's such a good one. Like, if I can ever make soda bread like that, I will have made it. Like, I'm gonna be like, I don't know what else I can do in life to make me any happier, you know? <laughs> it is a national treasure. Bloody pinata, did I say hello to you? Or just think about it really loudly. I feel like I've been doing a bit of both recently. Actually, I'll put this in the, that's not the fridge, that's the sink. I'll put it there, out of my way. <laughs> oh no, Patty, <laughs> McCambridge. That's it, I'm going home. <laughs> All right, now we can give it an old need. A little need. Someday I will have chat over here on like a tablet or something and I won't have to break my neck at a 90 degree angle constantly to read chat. 
Ellen, 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 hello. Um, I ended up making pretzel nuggets the first time I did them. I couldn't work out the twisting, but they tasted good enough. Hey, look, if they taste good, you've got something right, you know? Give your spoon label. <laughs> Not my ladle. <laughs> Thank you for the bits, Jeff. You're three good. Oh, Skipper Morgan says, I can't make bread, but my specialty is a pasta dish I call Harlequin Pasta. Next goal is to make the penny from scratch. What is in Harlequin Pasta? I gotta know. All right. Hey, Google, set a five minute timer. And I'm not adding more flour sure. to this because I don't want to, I don't want to dry out, you know? No. I don't want to dry out, you know? We don't, we don't want that. Hoi, hoi. Picture. We got it. Needing and reading. Mount the TV on the wall in front of you and get chatting out. I've genuinely been tempted, like up on the wall in big, big font where I can see it. Later, miss, hello, how are you doing? <laughs> Just a little need. Achha, achha. Beth of the Wild, hello, joining quick on my break at work. Um, Jarhead gives me a sub yesterday, don't know if they're here, but thank you. Ah, hello, I hope you're having a lovely work break and I hope you're taking it easy and resting your entire self today. It's actually kind of relaxing to knead bread, as weird as that sounds. Like, I don't know, I don't know. It's just, I think anything that's like a very, a very relaxed, like repeated process, you can just kind of, not, I'm, like, I'm not zoned out now, but if I was doing this on my own, I'd just be like, elsewhere, you know, just like, ah. <laughs> Idea, get the chat on screen diegetic with a big screen, then use a complex mirror setup so you can see it too. Oh goodness, yeah, I'll, I'll see what I can do about that one. <laughs> Birds, thank you for the bits. How do pickles celebrate their birthdays? They relish them. They relish them. They they relish them. Excuse me for a second. Anyway, uh, <laughs> slaps me. Uh, do you know what I need? If we unlock another another mode slap, slot slot slot. I want like a wheezing emo. You know the like. <laughs> I need one of those. The because I think that would be very appropriate here. The stuff he come out with. I'm telling you something, lads. I'm telling you something. All right. It, this is this is really. Is it? It's bouncing back. Oh, it's bouncing back. I'm gonna tiny just a little bit for the table. It would get used all the time. Like genuinely, it would. Don't tell Milky they'll have one out in three minutes. They will. They will. I don't want to put that kind of pressure on them because they're too good. Oh, here we go. So the harlequin pasta is a mix of chorizo, bacon, red capsicum, zucchini, carrot, and onion simmered in any kind of stock with sour cream added afterwards. The, then put on top of cooked penne pasta. That sounds incredible. That sounds really good. I want to try making that. I need more like lazy pasta dishes that don't all taste the same. And that sounds, that sounds like a good candidate, I have to say. I feel like the need to beat up the bread. I, I want to be nice to the bread. <laughs> I knew I got banned in my first five messages, says Jeff, and I had nothing to do with a bad joke. No, that's true. And you're still here, and I, I'm happy. I'm glad. Okay, this is, this feels fairly close to where it needs to be. I hope I haven't underwatered it. I think it's actually maybe a little bit, um, I think it's a little bit dry. So I'm just gonna, don't tell anybody. You didn't see me do that. Um, Foom, hello. How long does it take to make ratatouille? As long as it takes the rat to, to, Ratatouille, I don't know. <laughs> I've never made it before. Technically what we're gonna be making today is not actually ratatouille. So we'll see. We'll see, it's a learning adventure. And um, teriyaki, honestly, like who needs the gym? I'm gonna be buff just from kneading bread. Like genuinely, I'd say anyone who makes a lot of bread would have fairly like strong arms, you know? I should have gotten a bench scraper out of the press and I didn't think of that. Ow, that was kind of sore. All right, isn't there supposed to be a rat on your head? We well, you see, we don't have a rat, so we were going to get Dave to sit up on top of my head, but it just, you know, it didn't work out. I don't think he liked the idea so much. I don't think he was as sold on it as everyone else was. Okay, this feels about right. It's a tiny bit sticky, but it's nice and smooth, so I'd say we're nearly there. Hey, Google. Hey, Google. Hey, Google. How long is left on my timer? You've got one minute and four seconds to go. That's the longest five minutes of my life. Oh my goodness. Um, Booty says bread scrapers are for the weak. You can roll the dough to loosen it from the surface. For the weak! Don't, don't. In all seriousness, it saved me a couple of times. Like, genuinely, it has. We don't have a rat. Cake, you had notice for being on the front page. I didn't even get a rat. We do a rat command, though. You can do exclamation mark 
rat. Rat. You're a rat. <laughs> Dave would sit in your brain and control you like Plankton did to SpongeBob. He would, and that's why we can't have him sitting on top of my head. For anyone who's new, if you're not familiar with Dave, this is Dave. This little guy right here. He is a little robin. And you do well to give him a little pat on his head or he won't be impressed. He won't. Okay, it's nearly time. I think that's probably okay. I don't want to be overworking it, you know? That looks fairly okay. Yeah. Hey, Google. Cancel my timer. Okay, it's cancelled. Cha. Right. So we pop, yeah, we want to pop a little bit of oil in here. Wait, is this clean bowl? Hang on, do I oil this bowl or not? I feel like I used to, I feel like I oiled this bowl the first time I did this. Hang on, give me a second. Give me a second. I feel like I should be oiling the bowl. It says clean bowl. Yeah, I, I'm gonna oil the bowl. It feels like a little bit just to keep going, because otherwise it's gonna stick and it's gonna be a holy nightmare. What's in the elevator? It's to lift our spirits. <laughs> oh goodness, Aculine, hello. Oh, we're having a nice old time. Everyone's been very nice. Watch me. <laughs> oil the bowl, that's good. Thank you so much for, for reassuring me on that one, because sometimes I'll, I'll, I'll know that something's right, but it won't be written in the recipe. I'll be like, did I imagine doing this last time? <laughs> We don't want it sticking. If this sticks to the bowl, I, I won't be very impressed at all at all. Right, in you go, little buddy. In you go. Say goodnight to the dough. Give the little, a little pat goodnight. What a good little bit of dough. Right, I'm gonna cover that with a tea towel and pop it out of the way and I'll give the table a little wipe down. I wish for an ethernet. An ethernet. I think I've missed something along the lines here, along the way here somewhere. Right, clean tea towel. Achoo. There we go. Now, I'm trying to see where I can put this. I, oh, I can put it over here. Hang on, give me a second. Oh, excuse me. You ever get a bubble in your throat and your voice sounds weird? Hate that. Right, I'm gonna move this here. I'm gonna move this over here. And it can live over here. And if it falls, then we have no focaccia. <laughs> A little good night kiss. Mm. <laughs> right, that's it. Actually, that is more stable over there than I thought it would be. I could put it over here, but if I put it here, I'll have to move it again in five minutes, you know, so that's no good. Good night, little focaccia. We have a vending machine. In the vending machine today, in the in chat poll, for anyone who's not familiar, you can order for yourself Ethernet cables Ethernet cables in hoisin, two liters of mayonnaise, Fortnite burger, lethal, fork acha, and a de-boiled egg. So you can get any of those for yourself, but you know, make sure, make sure you choose what you're happy with, because you only get you only choose one. You can only choose one. Alright, let me get the dough off my hands to the best of my ability and give this a little wipe down. Because we need to chop like oh wait, hey Google. Set a timer for 55 minutes. Okay, 55 minutes. Starting now. Yeah, that's the business. That is the business. All right, hands are uh, clean. Ooh, what was that? Oh, it was the plant. I felt something in my arm and I didn't know what it was. Uh, remember, always say night, night, dough rest well so your dough rises properly. Yeah, it has to, it has to rest properly. What the? Oh, now that is a new one. I'm gonna stop doing that just in case the tap falls off. <laughs> we found the rat, it's in the tap. No, 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 don't be doing that. Don't be doing that. No, no, absolutely not, irrelevant. Anyway. <laughs> And do you do these cooking streams often? I do dabble in other content too. I do cooking streams every Friday. Sometimes I bake things. Sometimes I want to cook more food. I want to get a second camera for over the stove. So we might do, I don't know, we might do a, a something to try and get that set up. 
So I think I could set up with a GoPro, but every Friday is food and drink and Monday to Thursday is variety. Um, every Tuesday is Animal Crossing because I, that game has a chokehold <laughs> and I will never escape. And, but we're, I started Ori in the Blind Forest last night. I'll probably play that again on Monday, but I'm bullying to play Cult of the Lamb because I think we'd have a great time with it. I think I want to maybe start that on Wednesday and see how we go. I'll ask my hubby if he let me share his chili recipe. Oh, I love a good chili. I haven't made chili in ages. Now, I think what I used to make wasn't strictly chili, but it kept me alive in, in hard times, and that's what matters. Oh, goodness. I'm gonna dry the hands off and put some bits and bobs away. Three types of chilies in it. I'm in, I'm in, I'm on board. I am on board, I want that chili. Did I set, I did set a timer, I did. We need to cut all the vegetables, all of them. Unspe on like geeky cultures, I'm not even joking. Like what I used to make was just unspecified bean dish. Like I would just kind of throw in loads of stuff and hope for the best. And it was super, super cheap to make and it kept me going. And that's all I needed at the time. So, whoop. sorry, that was very loud. Two chopping boards, just in case one sickens me. Um, off me Twitch, hello, unidentified bean dish. That, that's pretty much what it was. Nope. It made a weird noise when I was put it down, that was strange. Um, Stuff Bagel says, says, I do mean homemade chicken fajita recipe and breakfast bagels. Oh, make me hungry. I've had me breakfast. I had a fine breakfast too. But you're making me hungry. Mochi Moss, hello, how are you doing? And Calix, hello. What did everybody have for the breakfast today? Oh, everyone's getting a deboiled egg though. You're, you're gonna have to deal with that one. A little bit of caffeine to keep me going. My tea is like lukewarm. And I'm gonna have a swig of water. It's the three drink rule. Energy, pleasure, hydration. <laughs> Squishmas Prime, hello, been here five minutes, loving the vibes. Ah, I'm so glad. I'm glad you like what we're all about, What, what whatever that might be. <laughs> Lovely to have you in, how are you doing? All right, let's get all the vegetables. So I'm going to be putting in some things that are not actually in the recipe I've linked and I have a good reason for that. Oh, here's, hang on, breakfast. Toast with orange juice and an apple. That sounds good. Nice and simple, nice, and, kind of wholesome as well, honestly. Toast of bagels with cream cheese, fried egg, bacon, mushrooms, cherry tomatoes and a cup on tea. Oh yes, that sounds so good. Chili and lime crisps for breakfast. I mean, you could do worse. For breakfast, I did Jordan's Fruisley bar. Ooh, I mean, look, if it works, it works. We always keep little muesli bars in the press because, you know, I like to have breakfast and sometimes I don't have, very rarely, but sometimes I can't eat properly in the morning. I want to have something in the belly, you know, something. Cheerios, Cheerios are pretty good. <laughs> Are chopping boards an instrument? I mean, we did manage to make an instrument out of, oh my goodness, what was it? This. Hang on. <clears throat> Please stand for the national anthem. Thank you. That's all. <laughs> I could, if I wasn't on stream, like I could stand there for about 10 minutes, just like wibbly wobbly wibbly wobbly. That sounds what we going to call the buttery biscuit base. Um, oh, Calix, good thinking actually, not a bad idea. I'm also going to get a damp piece of kitchen paper so I can cut the onions without crying my eyes out. You know, of all days of the week, you know, I'm happy to sacrifice any makeup I have on my face if I have to, but I prefer not to. <laughs> um, could you use that noise as the wub-a-dub in the rhythm heaven bit? The... <clears throat> I'm trying to see if there's a bigger one. I actually don't think there is. It's not loud enough, I don't think. I need a louder one. We'll get a louder one. Right. This is ready to go for the onions. I'm gonna leave it over there. We have aubergine, courgettes. We have potatoes. Who's that? Jed, I think you're, oh, here we go. Now, you may not realize it, but that's the truth. <laughs> oh goodness, that's true. Go big guy. I can't wait to play that game. Like I'm, I'm so excited. I still can't believe I own a Wii U now. Like I'm just, whew, 
I'm so excited about it. So, so excited. Let me get the big knife. The big one, big one. There we go. Who's that? Hedge, thank you for the bits. Wibble. Is that true? <laughs> made homemade cheesecake ones, amazing. I haven't made cheesecake in the longest time. If Aki Line is still here, I will, I will talk up Aki Line on how good her cheesecake is forever. Wow. Look what you've started. <laughs> Redna, thank you for the bits. I thank you very much. And Josie, your gas hob, our landlord removed the gas from our flat. Oh no. I, there are some very, very good electric hobs. Like they, there are some very, very good ones. But I'm so used to a gas hob now. Like the, the instant changing of the heat is so good. But we'll probably just like, when we have our own place, we might try and get like a proper electric one. Like one of the good, good ones that changes when you change, you know? And we did play Wind Waker HD. Yes, like 100%. I really want to play Wind Waker. I've never played it before. Right. We are just slicing everything. That's it. That, that's, that's all we have to do from it. We just slice everything up. So we have... I'm just going to double check the recipe, which I have somewhere here. Um, beep, 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 beep. Um, onions, round potatoes. I could only get baby potatoes. All the other ones were, they were actually too big. Like, I, I didn't want to get a big bag of stuff that I wasn't going to use. Um, courgettes, tom the tomatoes. I knew I was forgetting something. Tomats. Tomats. I need about seven of these. We'll see. It'll be grand. We'll just make them look nice. You got me nostalgic for all things Ireland now, born and raised there. County Carlow! Ah, I know, I know. I've been to Carlow once or twice in my time for my sins. <laughs> no, it's a nice enough place, honestly. It's, it's lovely. Oh, goodness. I just got a crunch and then we're gonna... I'm so sorry. It's gotta be done. I bear about I heard you mention my cheesecake. Yes, Aculine makes an incredible cheesecake. Doesn't do food and drink streams. I won't, I won't put that pressure on you, but it does make an incredible cheesecake. Who's that? <gasps> Sweetie Saurus! Hey! Thank you so much for 12 months. 12 of them. 12 of them. I thank you very much. How are you doing? I don't know where to start. I'll start with the courgettes because I feel like they're more likely to hold their shape if I need them sitting there slice for a few minutes, do you know? That was embarrassing. Anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna give these a little rinse. And some pretty bad gas hobs. We have the Landlord special with, oh, four broken spark things. That's no way to live. That is no way to live at all. See, we have the, we have the fantastic combination of um, really, really good gas hobs, like incredible gas hobs and an oven that is holding on to the earth so it doesn't fall off. Like it's, it's not having a great time, that poor oven. Like I can manage for most things. It's baking that I notice it most with. Like it, it's mostly fine, you know. Thing under the thing so it doesn't slip. That's what I gotta do. Houseplant, hello! Oh, you made sourdough. Oh, the goodness. The goodness, yes. Oh, goodness. My mate grows the best courgettes to the size of watermelons. Oh my goodness. I'd love to try making them sometime. Hang on. I need, put that over here. What's a hob? Like a burner, a burner on the oven. I suppose some people call it that. So I need a damp tea towel to pop under this so it doesn't go slipping and sliding and riding that rhythm all over the place. It feels illegal to dampen a tea towel, but I know it's a good idea. And I know it'll, it'll stop me from dying as easily, you know? We don't want widespread death or dismemberment on this stream today, especially not today. I mean, most days we wouldn't want it anyway, but you know, I just wring it out a bit so it doesn't be sopping all over the place. <gasps> Lonely Spaghetti, hello! Yes, his name is Oscar and you can give him a hug with exclamation mark. Eat. Hug shark. It's free, it's easy. That's true. It's true. Oh, that'll do the business now. No dying on the live stream, it's illegal. You get arrested if you die on stream. <laughs> there we go. Dennis, hello, just thin spread death and dismemberment. If you don't have your own death and dismemberment, store bought is fine. <laughs> oh, goodness. It's called a live stream, not a dead stream. Exactly, exactly. Oh, that's actually very good. That's very, very, very solid. Salty Bob, hello, how are you doing? Come in, come in, come in, come in. All right, I need another swig of my tea. Are we ready? We're gonna slice and dice. Ow, slice and dice. I'm gonna slice these first. I've actually, I've never cut a courgette before. <laughs> Actually, no, no, that's a lie. I'm pretty sure I have. I know that because 
or fresh. Um, because there's a lot more people than usual here today, someone's going to give me chopping advice. But I promise I've tried. I just have really weird and awkward hands. <laughs> okay, okay, we go. Ooh. Well, roughly like a quarter inch piece. I don't think it has to be perfect, but you know, it'll be fine. You know, it'll be grand. It doesn't have to be perfect. What has happened? Jedi, what did you do? What did I just miss? And um, chopping advice with Bootsy, pinch grip, keep your fingers away from the blade. That's, that's essentially all you can do. <laughs> that's, that's the best. Like, I, I know, I love the idea of being able to chop things really fast, but I would rather go slowly and not die, you know? My priorities lie in having the food cooked and not having it not done fast, which is the luxury of not, you know, doing it professionally or whatever, but or not doing it on a particularly tight schedule. Now that's a fine chopped courgette. Sliced and, ooh, it's got little bits and bobs. There we go. I have this awful overwhelming urge to just like stack it. I'm gonna put these in the bowl here. I worked as a chef for 10 years. Fast chopping isn't always the best. Yeah, you, like fast chopping is no good if you don't have any hands to do it with, you know? <laughs> Apparently if you overproof sourdough, it's more alcoholic than normal. Hmm. You gotta, you gotta be careful with that, lads. Uh, try to keep backseat chopping. We do have a backseat onion chopping um, emote. It's there for a reason. Uh, DJ OK, hello. Ah, thank you so much. Um, this kitchen looks a lot bigger on camera than it is in real life, and Zargon Dragon can attest to this. <laughs> but thank you. I, I like our little kitchen. I think it's sweet. And Murphy Perp Drank, thank you so much for your prime. That's very kind of you. I hope you're having a fine time today on this Friday. Let me just, I'm gonna just top and tail this. Make my life easier. And can confirm sure it's amazing. Yes, you've been here as well, Aculine. That's true. It's a lot smaller in real life, but yeah, it's not tiny, but I think it's because I move everything around like a little bit for stream that it makes it look much bigger. The camera angle helps. Like the camera where it is in the kitchen is right up against the wall over there. So it does make everything look much, much bigger. I don't think I really need this many courgettes, but I'm just going to fill the thing with vegetables. And, you know, I'm sure it'll be fine. What could possibly go wrong? You know. Big Poop, hello, we're making ratatouille. It's technically not ratatouille, but it's gonna look the part and that's what matters. And it's probably gonna taste good too. And that's what matters. If you'd like the recipe, it's actually something called Tian. And I still don't know if I'm saying that right. Nobody's corrected me or stopped me, but it's a similar dish from France as well with similar vegetables, but it's laid out the way that ratatouille was presented in the film that everybody knows. So it, you know, I should just put these in the big thing. I don't know why I make my life more difficult. In. There we go. That's the business. I'm chopping looks like fun. I need to cook again. It's, it's kind of relaxing, you know, and I'm not putting myself under a big load of time pressure or anything. And um, courgette is so good. Apparently they can go off and taste bitter and be poisonous. Poisonous courgette isn't real. Can't hurt you. Don't think, don't, don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. All right, lads. Eggplant or aubergine? Or is there anything else that people call this? No funny business now, I'm watching you. I'm watching you. Oh, nebulous, you can see. Ooh, exciting times, that's exciting times. Call it the purple. Aubergine, because wh where are the eggs? Where are the eggs? I got very, very confused when I was when I was very young and people, I, I think it was the first time I heard someone call an aubergine an eggplant because when I was very young, I, I remember running around the garden of my mum's friend and she had like loads of lovely little flowers and stuff. And it was actually, I think it was a pansy and it was white on the outside and yellow in the middle. And I think she used to call it like an egg flower or an eggplant or something like that. So when I think of an eggplant, I still think of that, like that little flower because it was super cute. I don't know if it was actually a pansy, but it was something like that anyway. I can give this a little rinse, hang on. Oh, I left the label on it. I'll probably take that off, hang on. I should probably take the little Tesco label off of this aubergine, probably. Yep, there we go, that's the business. Now, does anybody, if your eggs are that color, do not eat, if your eggs are purple, That's not your egg, that's an aubergine. Go on, go on, I'm, I'm trying to show it to the camera like a makeup brush. There we go. 
I wonder if I can stick this somewhere. Right there. Perfect. I'll see if McDarren notices. <laughs> Is this what I use to dry the... Yeah, probably. It'll be fine. Long... Hang on, there's a poll ongoing. Long purple boy. Eggplant, aubergine, purple plant, or icky? Theta, hello! Andy says in Turkish it's called... Um, Paltican, you will blow up. Back in the day when people were carelessly frying aubergine, it would cause house fires. Oh, is it be, would they? No, actually, I have no notion of how that works. What? How? Huh? What? I have, I've never cut an aubergine before. Now I have. Today's the day. Um, Ellie, bloody hell, you call it a squash, really? Because a squash to me, well, is like a, a sweet potato. I think. I think. I'm not sure anymore. I don't know. I'm starting to doubt myself. <laughs> Alright, let's do, let's do a good old slice of this bad boy. It's kind of, it's a little tougher than I expected. I should probably sharpen the knives. You know the way every so often I'm like, I'm going to set a timer, a reminder, so that I sharpen the knives after stream. Do you know how many times I've successfully done that? You want to take a guess. Take a guess. How many times have I actually remembered to sharpen the knives when I say I will? <laughs> One all oh, Mayday Crasher, you're giving me too much credit. <laughs> Every single time I forget, because you know what happens? I finish up stream and I'm sitting here and the little alarm that's like, oh, sharpen your knives, goes off. And I'm sitting here and I'm wrecked tired. And I'm like, I would rather do anything else right now. Because <laughs> when I finish up a stream on a Friday, like I would love to just do like a little whirlwind of, you know, running around and getting everything tidy. And very occasionally I can do that. And most of the time I'm just like, like passed out in the chair for 10 minutes. <laughs> once I once I turn everything off, I'm just like, I'm I'm taking a nap. I'm so tired. <laughs> um, zucchini's a squash. There's acorn squash, yellow summer squash, butternut, my favorite, and, oh, butternut squash. Sorry, that's your favorite. That's, so yeah, courgette, courgette's a squash. Cause zucchini is a, a zucchini and a courgette are the same thing, right? They're just different names in different places, if I remember correctly. Aha. Uh -huh. um, Germans call them aubergine, but in Austria it's, Melanzani, which I mean, think we took from na oh, a neighboring country's language. The more you know, lads, the more you know. Oh, goodness. It kind of doesn't really smell like anything. Cut the slices thinner, bro. Um, I'm just following the recipe and it said to cut them about this thick, so. I'm following the recipe. The best of my ability. Do you know actually if we were making real ratatouille it's chunky all of the vegetables they would be cut into like little, little cubes and quarters and stuff. Krusty Battery asked hello weird about the Austrian in Germany it's also just called aubergine that's mad. It's always interesting to see how different um different I suppose would you just call it a dialect of a language or different areas pick up different words for things even kind of within roughly the same language you know it's kind of cool that's kind of cool. They called eggplant in the USA and Canada and Australia and aubergine in the UK and Ireland. I didn't know they called it that in Australia as well. That's a new one on me, lads. Every day is a learning day. I'm so afraid I'm gonna lose a finger just trying to <laughs> cut this. Zucchini's Italian courgette is French. Wow. It, 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 when you say it out loud, it makes sense, actually. I'm just trying to get, I'm trying to get that. This is some carry on. KTB, I see you in there. Will someone remind me of a shark close-up once I haven't a knife in my hand? Knife seems all right sharp ways. It's actually not too bad. Also, welcome in, how are you doing? It's not too, too bad, but it was very sharp to begin with. So like compared to most of the other knives in this house, it is very sharp. I don't know if I can get this last little bit. I always struggle when, oh wait, no, I have it. I just need a different angle and then we're good. I don't want any waste, you know? I don't want any avoidable waste. That'll do. It's not perfect, but it'll do. Now I can go in, mm, I'll keep it separate, put it in here. Oh, eggplant and zucchini are different. Oh, they're different for you. See, I, um, oh wait, no, no. Eggplant and zucchini would be different, but eggplant and aubergine are the same. Zucchini and courgette are the same, I think. I think. I think we're all on the right page here. I might be getting confused. <laughs> eggplant is an excellent source of vitamin A. Now, the more you know. I'm gonna give my hands a little rinse. Now, is there anyone here who's never had a shark close-up before? Because KTV has decided that everybody deserves a close-up of shark. And if you've never given shark a hug, exclamation mark, hug shark. Oh, here it is. So KTV says shark close-up for my daughter's last summer stream. Oh, she starts school Monday, we'll only see the VODs. All right, we gotta, we gotta bring shark up here. We're taking a minute, we're bringing him up. 
We're bringing him up. Oh, oh, where is he? Oh, here he is. And he's looking at you. And you know what he's doing? His little groove. Because sharks love you and appreciate you. And if you haven't given him a hug, it's free and easy. It's true. Oh, oh, he's grooving. I wish I could groove in such a carefree way without, you know, hitting my elbows and legs off things. <laughs> oh, he's going. What, what is that? What, what are you drinking? What? Is that coffee? No, no, that's fine. That's... What do you mean you're eating? Are you having coffee on an empty stomach? Shark's not impressed with that one. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You get some. You get some food into you. You know, you know who you are. You eat something before you have that cup of coffee. I'm, I'm, I'm watching you. Shark is watching you. I'm telling you something now, lads. You'd be sick. You'd be sick to your teeth. <laughs> You've been told. Hey Google, how long is left on me timer? You've got 32 minutes and 42 seconds remaining. That's okay, actually. That, that's, that's not too bad. That's all right. I feel attacked. You've all been seen. Just give me hands up the rinse. You've all been seen. Objection, I have unlovable, says Mozzarella. That is false. That is false. It is be good to yourself, hours. It's actually, it's always be good to yourself, hours. That's the secret. Are we doing the animal noise section this week? We could do one because we will have a little few minutes where we have nothing that we can actually do. Like everything is in the oven, everything's going. So we'll see how we go, you know? We'll see how the day progresses. Now, we have the courgettes chopped up. We have the aubergine chopped up. We have to chop up some potatoes. Now the potatoes are gonna be kind of small, but I think it'll, I don't think it matters too much. I think it'd be, it'd be fine, it'd be grand. And then I am going to chop the tomatoes last because they're, they're plum tomatoes, but they might be like a little bit runny. So I'm gonna put them in there. And then we'll do the onions and the garlic and then we start frying the garlic over there and the, no, no, the onions and then we put the garlic in for the last minute. Then we get everything else ready. Great. Aubergine fact, it's a member of the nightshade family along with side, alongside potatoes. It's also technically a fruit, a berry. It's a berry. No, it's a berry. Imp, don't, don't start me on the imp noise. We can't have the imp noise now yet. We can't. It's too early in the day. We can't scare people off yet. <laughs> oh dear, we can't do that. Uh, Macaron says, underrated concept, eating cereal out of a mug. Eating cereal out of a mug is so good and I don't know why more people don't do it. it it's like genuinely a really nice experience. It's so good. Okay, one, two, three, two, three. Um, I'm gonna put maybe one extra in. They're gonna be a little small in the stack, but it's, not, it, it's fine. It'll taste good and that's what matters. Um, ba, 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 ba. I'm gonna give them, a, they're, they're, they're washed. You know when, <laughs> you know when you get things in the shop and they're ready washed. Now, mm, I don't know. So I'm gonna give them a little rinse just to be sure to be sure, you know? A bowl is too much cereal is just right and then tea, coffee after. Exactly, sorted. Sorted. Why would you eat cereal out of a mug? There's less room for cereal. You get a big mug. Big, big mug. Big mug. Uh, you just get a bowl with a handle, like let's be real. <laughs> Nerdy Nisha, hello, how are you doing? You get a bowl with a handle. Could you eat Cocoa Pops with a bubble tea straw? Just leaving that with you for a minute. Just, just leaving that in your brain for a few minutes, that's all. Just, just think about that. Yes, good, mm, good. I'm glad we're all on the same page here. I'm fairly sure the baby potatoes will be fine. I couldn't, I didn't want to get a big old bag, like big bag of potatoes. What am I going to do with a bag of potatoes that size? Eat them, yes, maybe. Am I going to remember to eat them in time before they start taking root and attaching themselves to the house? No, I'm probably not. So that's why I always buy baby potatoes because they they last a little longer and they, they're they nice for, you know, just eat. Da, da, da. Garbled for life, hello. And these days my cereal is oats, microwave and water with half grapes for sweetness. Honestly, like if, if that does the job for you, that sounds pretty good. I used to be a fiend for porridge. Like the only thing I ate in the run up to my leaving cert was porridge. Well, no, no, that's, that's in the morning. <laughs> it wasn't the only thing I ate, that would be very unhealthy for me. Um, but I would just eat porridge every single morning with a little bit of 
Was it honey or golden syrup? I might have gone for either, but it was, it was a good time. It was great. Like I'd be full until lunchtime I'd, and I'd have plenty of energy and everything. It was fantastic, you know? Quenos, hello, Sports Direct mug, my beloved. Do I have a big mug? I, mm, do I have a big mug? Uh, I know I, I had like a, oh, right here, right here. Hang on. Big mug. I got this in the, I got this in the, the Halloween, what you call, in the Halloween rush, I suppose you call it in TK Maxx. Now I've got like, I've got dust on my hands. Ooh, out of here. Right, dusty hands out. And we have some potatoes to chop. Anyone hates, anyone else hate drowning the Rice Krispies in milk? I haven't had Rice Krispies in ages. Like I know, I know I'm messing and joking, but I actually haven't had a bowl of cereal in the longest time. Um, both these, I love TK Maxx went there yesterday. It was very good, only bought cat toys and chocolate. TK Maxx, and this TJ Maxx is the same thing for anyone in the States. It is an experience, like it really is. Start to finish, it's such an experience. And it's, it's weird because sometimes you find incredible stuff there and sometimes you walk through and you're like, this is a wasteland, <laughs> you know? It's gas. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, that's fine, that's fine. They don't have to be perfect. They're close enough. Rice Krispies, oh, Rice Krispie squares are so good. Oh, I love Rice Krispie squares. That'll do. I don't want any waste on the spuds. We'll put the end bits in somewhere, it'll be fine. Do I need another bowl? I'm gonna get another bowl. I'll get this bowl, this will do the job nicely. Da -da -da -da. And as always, lads, can we get a little bit of appreciation for the moderators? Because it's a, it's a busy day today, lads, I'll tell you. And I appreciate you very much. You're three good. You are three good. And sorry if anyone gets caught in the crossfire, they're trying. <laughs> oh, they do be trying. And you, you'd be succeeding, to be fair. Potatoes are amazing uncooked. I think I would be instantly sick if I ate a raw potato. I think a lot of people would. I don't think you're supposed to eat spuds raw. I, I don't think it's a, no, maybe, maybe there's something I'm missing here, but I'm fairly sure you would be very unwell if you had a raw potato. Now, careful, these little windy bits here. Yeah. Ugh. I always feel like I'm about to take my whole arm off when I'm doing that, but I'm just, you know, I don't want to waste, you know? I don't want to throw away half a spud. Yeah, please don't eat raw potatoes. Like, like seriously, don't, you'll make yourself sick. You'll be very, very sick. You can eat raw potato in Minecraft. You know what else you can do in Minecraft? <laughs> Where do I start? You can go to hell in Minecraft and come back again. Just because you can do something in Minecraft doesn't mean you can do it in real life. You know how you make a pumpkin pie in Minecraft? You get some wheat, sugar, and a pumpkin, and you, you throw them at a table and then you get pumpkin pie. If it was that easy, I would live on pumpkin pie and then I would pass away, but look. <laughs> right. Let's get these spuds chopped. I really hope this comes out nice. I, I realize I'm kind of winging some of the recipe, but it'd be fine. It'd be grand. No worries, no strain. I think I might just do one more spud. I'm trying to think how this will all be laid out. Hmm. Unicorn Relish, hello. I want to get proper big knife that everyone seems to have on the internet. The knife I have right now is small and slim and kind of blunt. Um, if it makes you feel any better, this isn't fancy. It's a Xylus knife. We got a we got a set of them when we moved in together in Arnott's and it was like, it, for what it was, it was no money. Like it was 30, 40 quid for like a full knife set. And they're not like the fancy, fancy stuff, but they're good, you know, they're good. And you can sharpen them and they're still good and they're comfy little handles and whatnot. Mia Flowers Writer, hello, how are you doing? Come in, come in, come in. I hope you're having a fine Friday on this day today. Da -da 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 -da. I might do this one more. Spud. Yeah, I think that'll do. And I think from there, uh, I'll give this one a little, a little chop. I think if I need more later, I'll cut them then. I don't want to be cutting them all up and then not using all of them. That's waste, you know? Don't like, don't like waste. Ha -ha. Right, I'm gonna put these back in the bag and put these away. Oh, oh, Orna, hello! Orna, thank you for 29 months. How are you doing? It is lovely to see you. As always, how are you keeping? I hope you're having a good one. I'm gonna take this moment to have a little sip of my sup. 
Oh, good. And thank you for tier two as well. Holy moly. It's three good. Yeah, it's very good. Gaudi says my brothers eat sometimes raw potatoes and onions. Like, at least an onion is just kind of like, you know, it's it's fine. You can put raw onion in a salad, like a red onion. But don't don't eat raw potatoes. You will be sick. You'll be unwell. Oh, goodness. All right. I'm going to get a little, little pan out. We'll see how this all <laughs> pans out today. I'm not going to apologize for that, and you can't make me. All right, so I got a pan. We're gonna cut up some onions. Me watching people eat raw potato. I'm just sitting here like, why? Why? Okay, got that there. We got, I have my damp piece of kitchen paper. This is important. Slap it on there. Actually, I'll put it over here in case. In case of what? I don't know, but just in case, you know. Um, just as one says, it's not face parents, just let me eat the raw potatoes. No, don't eat the raw potatoes. You will be sick. You will be so unwell. You will be unwell forever. Every time you get a mild cold, you will just start coughing up entire potatoes. Like, do you remember your man? I can't remember his name. Your man with the, I think it was on Vine. He would just be doing something and he just cough up a lemon. <laughs> Anyone remember that? <laughs> oh, goodness. Matt, welcome in. We are indeed. How are you doing? Come in, come in. What did I come over here to get? A scissors. There's no scissors here. Oh, that's how it made my journey a lot easier. Um, but, but, but I think there's a tiny knife around here I can use. Yes, I left it down here and I don't know why. I think I used it to open something else. You know? No, oh my god. With the, what's his name? Your man with the lemons. Will Sasso, yes, with the lemons. Tomo, hello. I'm here because I saw you in RT game Mangle <laughs> Innocent Caterpillar Cake. That's true. That, that was us. That was us. How are you doing? Welcome in. How are you keeping? That, that... That poor cake deserved so much better. Can you believe that's almost a year ago? That's mad. How many onions do I need? I didn't, two, two onions. That's a lot of onion, but I like onions, so it's fine. That's fine. Raw <laughs> onion, no. I don't want to eat the raw onion. I'm going to get the little compost bin, actually, and just put it next to me. Speaking of compost, thank you. You've reminded me to bring up the compost bin. Now, there's no there's no compost in this. This is I, this is immaculately clean and everything. It's been through the dishwasher. It's had a scrub, so I don't feel weird putting it here. Otherwise, I would not put it here at all. Oh, I forgot to... Never mind. I forgot to cut up the, the, the tomatoes. I'll just put... I need more surfaces to put things on. I need, like, 20 shelves over here where I can just put stuff. <laughs> Right, out of here. I need this back, don't I? I do, I need to bring this back over, I'm something cool. Right, I'm gonna sit it. Right here. I'm gonna put the book over here and put the bits and bobs in the bits and bobs bin. The bin for bits and bobs. I thought those were oranges, no. Oh goodness, no. Remember, always double the amount of, wait. Always double the amount of garlic the recipe says. I, I'm tempted, I'm tempted. I genuinely, that was the wrong word. Generally would double the amount of garlic. Gotcha. Can I interest anybody? Oh no, this tomato is bruised. That's okay, it's fine. Can I interest anybody in a firm plum tomato? Tomato. Beautiful. Plum tomatoes are actually very nice. <laughs> Me went tomato. <laughs> right, where am I putting these? I'm going to... Um, I don't want to put them in a bowl because I feel like that's going to get kind of messy. I'm going to lay them out on a plate. I know they're not as watery as like other tomatoes, but still. And <laughs> Raw tomatoes? No thank you. I'll stick to raw spuds. No, don't eat the raw spuds. Um, Atex, hello, and Basic N says, I love the bean can. Oh, ding! It's very important, I assure you. It's a very, very important thing. And welcome in, both of you. I hope you're keeping well. Sword Dancer, hello, and good news after I finish today on vacation for a week. Yes! Oh, Sword Dancer, I hope you enjoy your vacation. I hope you have a great L time on your holidays. Ooh, very nice. Hang on, I gotta move the mouse because it keeps covering things. There we go. All right, I'm going to sit down for a minute to do this. Whee! On vacation. Tomatoes are such a lice, Sambrashi. Plum tomatoes don't taste like plums. Cherry tomatoes don't taste like cherries. And beef tomatoes really don't taste like beef. Hey, hey, come here. I'll talk. 
I don't even really want to sit down. I'm just gonna want to kneel on the table. I'm not on the table, on the on the chair. <laughs> God, my brain is just made of cottage cheese today. Oh, that's the business. Very good. Okay, so I'm doing a nice and a decent thickness. They don't have to be perfect, but I don't want them all over the place either. You know. Come on, come on. We got this. We got this. Yes. Beautiful. Fantastic. I I'm gonna have to leave the little end bit in, but I think that'll be fine. It'll be grand. Your knitting pattern deleted itself. What What are you making? What are you making? Time to lurk. No one do anything funny or hurt my feelings. All right, that's it. Everyone go home. Blood Moon Mountain's lurking. <laughs> Basic M, we're making ratatouille. Technically not ratatouille. Don't tell anybody. Wait, wrong side. Um, we're making a dish that inspired what ratatouille is in the film, which is called Tian. I think I'm saying it right. No one stopped me from saying it that way, so. Um, it looks the same. It's got very, very similar ingredients. It's got like just a big load of vegetables and some bits and bobs on top and you know, you know. It's gonna be good, I hope. I've never made it before. We're also making some focaccia to go with it. And uh, so that's proving over there. It's proving itself. And I'm hoping everything turns out nice. I'm excited to see what turns up. Ah, thank you. I really hope it turns out nice. I really, really hope so. I've always wanted to make this, I think I'm going to give it a go. Do! And it, it seems like the kind of thing that like, even if it doesn't come out right, unless you burn it to a crisp, it probably won't go too far wrong, you know? You know? Right. We're getting there. There's something about cutting tomatoes, it just, it feels weird, you know? Cutting tomatoes, they're just watery, you know? You know? Okay, we're getting a, a fine run through here. I'm, I'm getting less afraid of them being watery all over the place. Beautiful. Magnifique. Focaccia, person after my own heart. Oh, it's so nice. It's so, so good. And it's it takes a while, but it's not too tough to make, you know? I need some water. Chip it, hello, just came back from Paris, but the movie's a lie. There's no restaurant with a rat chef. What is the point of going to Paris if there's no, there's no Remy? <sighs> oh, goodness. Right. I, sorry, my nose ring moved. Um, I... Yeah, I'll do, I'll do all of the ones in this pack. And again, if we need more, I have, I have more tomatoes that I can use another time. Rowan, hello, how are you doing? Come in, come in. The squad, how are you keeping? It's so nice to have a lot of new people here today. I was, I was very nervous about this. So, you know, when I'm nervous about things, I pretend I'm not. And then it suddenly hits me. I go, oh, but everyone's been very nice. You see my nice crowd and I am glad. I am very, very glad. And I mean, Dave hasn't had any complaints yet, so. That's gotta be good. That's gonna be worth something. Um, Uncle Pepperoni, hello. Have you ever been to Switzerland? I'm vacationing there for the first time next week. I haven't. I had the chance to go to Switzerland a couple of years ago, but I actually, I couldn't get time off work. I was really sad, but I'd love to go sometime. I hope you enjoy yourself. I, I wanna go. I think it would be very pretty. Very, very pretty. Even just, you know, just one time. Oh, I cut too much off that tomato. Oh, well. Do, 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 do. Okay, we do this one, we do that one. And then I feel like I've, I don't know. Too much? It'd be fine. We can just make a big one. I mean, I have a fairly big um, dish put aside for this, so it'd be grand. It'd be grand. The arranging is going to be great fun. It's been lovely. Yeah! I'm so glad. Um, update on my mug of cereal, says Macaron. Someone came to the door. I got a fright and ended up spilling it over the kitchen table. No! Not the cereal! No! Oh, heartbreak. True heartbreak. I'm telling you something. Yes. Yes. Anyone here been to Switzerland though? Anyone else? It is, it's one of the places that's on me list. I've lost places on this imaginary list and I'll get to them eventually, I hope. There we go. All right, this has got all tomato bits on it. I'm going to put this here. I'm actually going to re-dampen this. You've never been anywhere in Europe? Ah, well, I hope you enjoy yourself. There's, there's a lot of them. There's a lot of those countries out there. <laughs> I've not been to as many European countries as I'd like to, to be honest. Like, I've been, obviously, I've been to Ireland. Um, I've been to England, Scotland, Wales, Northern Ireland. I've been to, I've never been to France. I've been to Germany, but only on a layover in the airport in Munich. I've been to Finland, Spain, the Netherlands. I've been to the Netherlands twice, and that's it, somehow. That, that, that's it. I've not been anywhere else, and it just, just kind of happened that way, you know? And there's, there's a lot of other places I want to go. 
Finland was great. I really want to go back to Finland. I really want to go back to the Netherlands because it's just a really, it's just a really nice time. Like as a tourist, it's a lovely place to go. It's very accessible. It's not too expensive and food is great and there's lots to do, so. Okay, I forgot to tell you, I finished, finished um, X, XC3. I reached the 10 melancholy stairs in the distance while smiling out of 10. I cried, laughed and cried more of the beauty. X, XCOM 3? Is there an XCOM 3 these days? Am I losing track of games that quickly? Huh. Oh, Xenoblade Chronicles, like, is there a third XCOM? I mean, there might be as well. <laughs> Kova, thank you for 29 months. I thank you very much, how are you doing? I hope you're having a good one. And Lee, Lee Talks, is that how I say your name? Hello and welcome in, how are you keeping? All right, it's time to chop onion. I'm gonna do it. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. I'm petrified. <laughs> I hate chopping onions so much. It's like one of my least favorite things in the world. But this is the fastest way to do it. So this is the way I'm doing it. We get this out of the way. We, got, we just gotta go. We gotta be brave. We gotta be brave. I'm really awkward at cutting onions as well because I just feel like they go everywhere when I try and cut them. So there's gonna be people going, you're cutting the onion wrong. Oh goodness. but I don't mind. As long as it gets cut and put into the food, then that'll do. Uh, didn't you try some sort of trick the last time you did this? Yes, I do have a little a little bit of the, the wet kitchen paper here and it works so well. It's worked every time I've tried it. It's brilliant. Uh, Film Raccoon, ah, hello, how are you doing? Come in, come in, you're, you're too kind. Yeah, too kind. Um, I'd say my foot pro, oh no, food processor. Oh. Are you serial? I was worried there for a minute. You don't want to be using the food processor, you especially don't want to be using the food processor on Twitch. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. You don't want that. <laughs> I sacrifice 100 bucks to summon Remy, Brat Chef. <laughs> Thank you so much for the bits. I mean, if you can manage it, good trick. Oh, we do need a slap chop. We need a slap chop in here. That would, that would be just the business, I'll tell you something. All right, I think that'll do. Okay, full concentrate. This is from concentrate, because I am concentrating. That's how it works, right? That was pretty good, that was okay. That was all right. You know what, cooking show like yours deserves my sub. I'm Italian and big up for focaccia. Hey, we love focaccia. I would put focaccia with anything. Like it's just such a lovely food and it's, it takes a while, but it's good. It's not, not too difficult to make, thank goodness. Okay, I'm just gonna do a little, little one of these. I have to do two of these onions, so I don't wanna get too ahead of myself here. I actually should have put more scores in that, but sure, look, we're here now. I have to give this my full attention because I don't want to lose my hands. This is my lifeline. This little wet piece of thingy bob. This is my lifeline. This is what's keeping me keeping me going right now. Oh no. There's a bit of a hard bit in this onion. Well, out you go. Doesn't Gordon Ramsay always say something about chopping onions? Like you can't chop an onion, you're a crap chef. Well, you see, I am. I'm a crap chef. But I manage somehow. Like, I'm not a professional and I've never claimed to be. I've had no formal training in cooking. We're just having a nice L time here. I need to walk away because the, the, the thing isn't working. My eyes are on fire. It, it, I don't know why it's not working. Let me get another bit. Maybe these are just super spicy onions today. Oh, oh my eyeballs. I'm putting more. Do you know that if you have a cut on you, you can apply raw garlic to instantly make it worse? No. Oh no. Okay, we're gonna put down another one of these and see if it helps. <laughs> oh dear. I've heard the trick is to cut off the rooty and stop the stinging. I've tried that and that actually did not work for me at all for some reason. Now, maybe I just did it the wrong way around, but sure look, wouldn't be the first time I'd mess it up, but. Hmm. I'm gonna put these onions somewhere nice. I'm gonna put them on an onion holiday into this bowl. Onion holiday. Oh, it doesn't work for you either. <laughs> First, you need to kill the onion. 
I'd be worried if the onions were alive in the kitchen. Like that, that, that would have me much more worried. Much, much more worried by far. Get in there. It seems like a lot of onion, but you know, I suppose onion does cook down fairly, fairly intensely. So it'd be grand. It'd be grand. All right, that'll do. Oh, it's to stay there. Okay, the fresh bit here is working a little bit. Milan dude, hello, how are you doing? Oh, garlic is so good. I love a bit of garlic. I'll be chopping a little bit of garlic next. I'll just be kind of roughly chopping it, so it'll be, it'll be grand. Um, <laughs> Jokey the Joker, hello. Imagine how much they'd make me cry if they were alive. I don't think the onions would be too impressed with getting chopped up, I have to say. Like, I don't think they'd be sitting there applauding you for it, or me. I think they would fight us with their little onion arms. This is a really tough onion. There we go, got it. Um, I once cut off the top one centimeter of my thumb while cutting onions. Oh, oh that's pretty rough. Oh, you poor chicken. Did did you get a, did you get better? Did you get it better? Did you did did you get your thumb back? <laughs> you poor thing. Oh my goodness, that's so unfortunate. And what helps me not cry when I get when I cut onions is going to my happy place. Well, if my happy place is chopping onions, it's not. It's absolutely not. Oh goodness. I could genuinely eat a bowl of caramelized onions. They're, they're so good. You're, 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 you're not wrong. They're just so, so good. You know what's really good? You know, just like a crispy onion. Just a little crispy, crispy onion. Duct tape. Oh no. No, you don't want to be putting your thumb back on with duct tape. How did we get here? Where do we go now? All right. I've got that ready. I just, I hate, I hate the paper. Why, why can onions not just peel themselves? No, no, I'm, I'm actually, I'm, I'm cutting myself off from that thought right now and I'm not allowed to think it anymore. Have you seen those TikToks of people cutting onions with little fingers and deep fry them? I, I, I haven't, but just the, the I, I, sorry, I, I completely misread that and misunderstood it. My, my brain took it in the wrong way. I just saw onions and fingers. I was like, no, not again, <laughs> not again. All right, I think I actually need a bit of a saucepan for this instead of a, a pan, so. This is panning out a little differently. Sorry. Why am I apologizing? I know it's not a sincere apology. Oh, goodness. Um, baffled toast, hello and welcome in. How are you keeping? Come in, come in. Right, this, then the garlic, and then we're away for slates. And those slates, I'll tell you something. All right. I know I just said like several minutes ago that I don't like to cut things really quickly, but onion is the exception because I just want it done. <laughs> I just want it done. Yeah, not a single Shrek reference. You know, I'm, I, I don't know if I'm proud or disappointed to tell you the truth, lads. All of these onion layers. My eyes. My eyes, my eyeballs, the, my eyes in my brain. Oh my goodness, in my head, ow. Come on, come on, leave my eyeliner out of this, please, I beg. Come back, come back, come back. All right, I'm good, I'm good, I'm okay. Whew. Oh, Mixer Dublin, hello. Let me see an Irish lady cooking on Twitch, respect that. I'm doing my best. I'm lovely to see you, how are you keeping? Come in, come in, come in. Uh, I never said I cooked well. So this, this could turn out terrible. Like, I hope that for anyone new coming in today, I hope nobody thinks I'm a professional chef, because I'm, I'm not. The most instruction I ever got on how to cook was for my my home ec exams. <laughs> and that's that's not a joke or an exaggeration. That's the only training I've ever had. Oh my goodness. Jordy, thank you for 21 months. Oh my eyes, my eyes, they're on fire. My eyes, my eyes, my eyes are on fire. It's just hitting me really bad today. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. <sighs> Did you know? Did you know? <laughs> Do you know if you eat? <laughs> I can't read that. Did you know if you eat an onion wrong, you'll suffer? I can't do this. <laughs> I think I do need to. Hang on, I'll open the window. And we'll hope my neighbor doesn't go mad at me. Oh, goodness. I'm, I'm unable, lads. Oof. For Halloween, we take my thumb scar and turn it into the Joker. Oh, that's actually quite sweet. 
good that you can get a good laugh out of it anyway, you know. Okay, you okay? I'm, I'm, I'm all right. It was just the, the onions were really, really spicy. It's actually kind of started fading now. I'd say having the window open is part of the play. I was gonna say the play, but part of it. Twice, oh, go away. Swimming goggles, tissue up your nose. Like, I, I, I don't know if any of it really works, but look at it. All right. Now I am going to take this garlic. Right the hello and a happy Friday to your good self. How are you keeping? Come in, come in, come in. I love your accent. You're from around Dublin. I'm not at all. I'm from, I'm from the, I can't say Southeast because McDowell will kill me because I'm not technically from the Southeast. I'm from Tipperary, but I'm from like the Waterford side of Tipperary. So, <laughs> but I have been in Dublin a while. So I picked up a little bit, a little bit of the accent, but only like for certain words, you know? I still sound like a cult sheet to Dublin people, and I am proud of that. <laughs> it is a long way, let me tell you. It's a long owl way altogether. Oh, goodness. Get in there. Right. I'm going to turn this over. I'm going to put the blade facing away from me. Put this in the Bosco Brewster. Um, Julian Nichols. Hello. Come in, come in. How are you keeping? Garlic. Please take a moment for the garlic. Beautiful. It's beautiful. I love it. I'm going to cut it up. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm going to mince this garlic. All praise our Lord and Savior, garlic. So it. Here. Um. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I, I, it says two garlic cloves. So I feel like I should have three garlic cloves. Kevin37, hello. I just came here because you started to talk to me, Twitch main page. I like the accent. Ah, that's very sweet of you. Come in, Kevin. How are you doing? I, I can't believe I used to be self-conscious of my accent. Oh, on the internet, you know. No one ever plays hello, little, little garlics. Uh, a bulb is the smallest measure of garlic. Is he saying, do you understand? Do you understand? Now, I also don't want to blow the head off myself with this. So I think I'm going to go double garlic. God love, love it. You're a garlic farm. Oh, Super Laura, you are, you're living well. Oh my goodness. I did try to, I tried growing my own garlic once. I'm gonna get a smaller knife because I, I'm a clumsy, clumsy individual. But um, I tried grow, growing my own garlic. Let's start that again. Growing my own garlic once. And I ended up with like single clove garlic bulbs and they tasted fine. Like they tasted completely fine, but it was really weird. I, I'd never, I didn't know that could happen. Like it, it was a couple, a good few years ago at this point, but you know. It's vaporized onion juice that stings your eyes. It's why a sharper knife can help with the stinging. It's true. And that's that's why I need to sharpen knives. That's that's actually the reason that I keep trying to sharpen my knives. That's why I keep reminding myself so that it won't sting as hard. There's not such thing as too much garlic, but I, I do need to tell you something. And no one's gonna be happy to hear this. I love cheese. I, I adore cheese. Once I put too much cheese on my pasta. I found the level of cheese that is too much cheese. And I still haven't really recovered from that. There's monobulb garlic and elephant garlic cloves too. That might, maybe that's what I grew. Cause I just, I just threw a bit of garlic in the ground and it grew. So blasphemous. No, like genuinely, I, I found the limit of how much cheese is too much. And I think maybe it was to do with the type of cheese I had as well. Like that might've made a big difference, but I put so much cheese on a bowl of pasta that I couldn't eat it. Like, I, I mean, I could and I ate it, but it was just like, it was more cheese than pasta. And I was sitting there <laughs> cause like I put it on after serving it out of the dish. So my dad was sitting there, he's eating away. He was delighted. I was just there like, <gasps> like withering trying to eat all the cheese. It just got like a little too oily, if you know what I mean, you know? And I love cheese. There's a reason we do cheese quest every year. Okay, I need to I need to speed up on this because we have to get on the focaccia soon. You don't like cheese? Oh, that's okay, Tomo. I mean, look, you have to, someone has to not like cheese so there's enough cheese for the rest of us, you know? We have to have that balance. <laughs> and just cross hello, an entire cheese wheel and one piece of penne. That's it. Whole cheese wheel, just like Skyrim. Done, sorted, easy. Sorted. But yeah, too much cheese is possible, and it, it pains me to say that out loud, but it's real. Fireflower, thank you for seven months. I thank you very, very much. How are you keeping? Come in, come in, come in. 
Um, please, my friends, lactose intolerance, and someone threw a pot, a pot, like a melting, like hot pot of cheese, or like, like a little, like a dearly dunker kind of thing. Hubby can't eat cheese. He buys me one kilo blocks. That's that is love. That is love. Oh. Is there anything that hits quite the same as sitting in the kitchen on your own, or you know, sometimes you know, maybe with someone else? With a hot cup of tea, just mainlining cheese and crackers. Like, is there anything quite like that? It just hits different, like it really does. Get, I hate having to take the paper off garlic. It's the worst thing about garlic. It's the only bad thing about garlic, really. I'm very clumsy, it sticks to me hands. Bleh. Oh, I know why it's not coming off because I didn't take the end off it, that's why. Cheese crackers and apple slices. Actually, apple slices would be good with that. Oh, some grapes would be good with that. Oh, that'd be the business. All right, I'm gonna chop these up a little bit. I think that'll do. I actually, I don't want to overdo it with the garlic. I don't want to overpower everything else, but it is very tempting. It's very, very tempting. I mean, I don't know why I'm making my own life more difficult by not just sitting down for a minute. Block of cheese, cheese grater, just eat tiny slivers of cheese. I mean, you're, you're set. Do you know what I want? This feels very silly, the way I'm chopping this, but look, we're here now. Um, do you know what I want? I want one of those things that you run over cheese that cuts the cheese into little perfect uniform slices for you. And I, I don't know what they're called, but I kept getting TikToks of people being like, why do people cut cheese with a knife? And my first reaction was, because a knife is sharp, obviously. But it's a little contraption. I don't know what it's called. You just get, mm, and you just get like a perfect, a cheese, I think it's probably just like a cheese slicer or something like that, you know? And the most useful thing in the kitchen, a chair. You sit down, you have a little rest to yourself, you're not wrong. Get out of here, little paper. Um, a mandolin, it's kind of like a mandolin, but not really. Like, it, it doesn't grate it, it just gives you a slice. And it, you know, people were mystified that people used knives to cut cheese. And it's like, you know, I think cutting cheese with a knife is fine. Like, there's nothing wrong with it. But this just seems very, very efficient and very easy to use, you know? This might, no, no such thing as too much garlic. No such thing as too much garlic. I will not believe this kind of talk from myself. In Swedish it's called Ossivel. That could be the one. That could be the very, very one. Uh, it looks kind of like one of those Play-Doh toys where it comes out in strings. No, it's not out of strings. It's just like slices, not strings. It's just slices. It's just like, you run it along, it just goes It looks, it looks kind of like a vegetable peeler, like a little bit, but not really. It looks like halfway between a vegetable peeler and a little, a little, you know, the thing you use to take a slice of cake out. It looks halfway between those. That's, I'd say that's plenty garlic for us now. Okay, let's go. We're starting. <laughs> We've been here two, two and a half hours. We're starting. No, we're starting this anyway. And then we need to get on the focaccia once this goes in the oven. But I actually think everything is going to be done at the same time, and I'm very, very excited. It could be a cheese plane. That could be it. I didn't know cheese could fly, but look, every day is a learning day, you know? A little bit of oil. Let that heat up for a sec. Aggressive mango, hello! I hope it's gonna be nice. How are you? Lovely to see you. How's things? I need to sip my sup. Ah, there we go. And Aspen, do I say hello to you? Hello, how are you keeping? I'm just going to uh, tap out for a second. Just double check that I'm doing this right. Um, yeah, I'm going to change the music as well because this is just about to end. Um, I'm going to pop on... Oh, I need something good. I need something good. I need something. I need something. This is the one. This is the one. I'm gonna skip the start because I've heard the start so many times. Perfect, perfect, that'll do. Is the focaccia rising? Yes, it's it's fine, it's, it's grand. It's grand, it's over there, I can keep an eye on it. It's onion time. Time for onion. Gonna get, ooh, gonna get one of these bad boys. That'll do, that looks. Yeah, that'll do. In you go. Yeah. Ooh, listen to that, listen to that. Listen to that sizzly onion. Onion ASMR. Oh, that's the business. That is the business. Hey Google, set a timer for six minutes. 
sure. Six minutes, starting now. Yeah. Sound good, sounds good. The good stuff, the best, it's such a good sound. It's like tss. Right, I'm, while that's doing that, I'm gonna get out the thingy bob that we're actually gonna make this in. It's not round, but it's gonna look nicer in this, trust me. It's gonna look much nicer in this. Just gonna give it, it is clean, but it's been in the press, so I'm just gonna give it a little rinse. A little rinse with hot water. That water is not hot water. Nice. Jesus, thank you very much for the rinse. And thank you very, very much. Ooh, me back and front and sides. Holy moly. Excuse my uncultured self, what is focaccia? Um, it's, no, you're, you're not uncultured at all, don't worry. Uh, I am, however, I'm uncultured. Um, it's a flatbread and it is absolutely delicious. Um, we'll, you'll see as you go. Um, if you want to see a picture of it, I think there's a photo in the recipe. If you do exclamation mark recipe, it's the second one in the little link. I don't know where I'm gonna put this now. I'm gonna put it over here. For now. Just for now. I could listen to your accent all day. Ah, Gazaba, you're too nice to me. You're too good. I'm just here talking my words. But, you know, if you, I mean, if, if, you, if you like me talking my words, then, you know. Where's Remy? Um, I couldn't get Remy and we couldn't afford his appearance fee, so. <laughs> Dan, how are you doing? Come in, come in. Um, Aggressive Mango says, I'm interested. I'll be, I'll be lurking about. I'll hopefully catch the end results. I just really hope it's going to be nice. Because it's a, it's a big involved process, but so, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Lunar Blaze, oh my goodness, thank you for gifting five subs to help me on Twitch and Grey Baby Gravy, Wall Crate, Ink the Red and Geeky Cultures, lads. Can I get some good eggs for Lunar Blaze? Thank you so much, that's very kind of you. You have three good. Three and four and five, five good. No, I'm telling you something. Right, they are, they're getting very nice over there. I'm just gonna make sure I have those in for the right time. Eight to 10 minutes, so I'll give them, um, hey Google, add two minutes to my timer. Done. Two minutes added to your six yeah. minute timer. That's the business. You've got five minutes and 51 seconds to go. I'm just gonna move this down and start preheating the oven. I believe it's on, excuse me, on the right temperature. We're good, we're good. Remy is, he's quite the expensive man, I'll tell you something. Uh, it's odd to me the folks are commenting on your accent. I'm so used to other Irish folks. I forgot, I always forget how we sound to other people as well, like to tell you the truth. <laughs> Oh, I think we have a nice accent. I think so. It is always exciting though, like it's it's happened to me a few times if I just go onto the front page of Twitch and I, if I have everything on like automatically to, you know, have the audio on, I hear an Irish accent, I'm like, yo! <laughs> ah, Coven Music, thank you so much for subscribing with your Prime. You're a three good, Coven's Music, sorry. Coven's. I thank you so much, you're a three good. No do. Oh, they are looking nice now. The garlic could go in after. Acha. And Team McAltry, thank you for gifting us up to Himalayan and Black Lord Tit. And I think that's a type of bird. I'll have everyone know. <laughs> thank you so much. And Starry Eyes, welcome in. Hello, hello, hello. Is everybody drinking water? Once this goes in the oven, we have to start on the focaccia. But once the focaccia is having its second proof, we can have another cup of tea. How's that sound? Is that a good deal? Good deal. Right. I need to stop cracking my hands, fingers, knuckles, knuckles. I was like, I've been worked the way back. Hands, fingers, knuckles, that's it. Okay, they're going, that's preheating. I can move all of this actually. I should probably get all of this out of the way. With the garlic over here, just slide it in there. Move this, put this away, away, away. And don't see, I actually don't know if I've ever heard a Welsh accent on Twitch. And I like Welsh accents. I know Welsh people are gonna be like, oh, they're not really, they're not great, you know, not really. No, but I think, I think they're nice. I like accents. I think they're, they're part of who we are, you know? I think it's very important to hold on to that. Do we need to put a bit of oil in this? I feel like we do. Let's see. Um, yeah, we wanna brush the baking dish with a little bit of olive oil. No Welsh streamer, ooh. Oh, yeah. that, that's one more than I know. <laughs> or maybe, do you know what, there, I, there might be someone that I followed a while back who is Welsh and I just can't remember. Quit forcing the air out from between your joints. Never. Never. I'm just gonna brush this with a little bit of, just a little bit of oil. 
I will force the air out from between my joints forever because it's the only way I can get any relief in my in my crunchy hands, you know? Um, chicken Permission, incredible name, first of all. I can name it six well streamers. I need to start branching out. I need to start branching out and finding more people in that case. I'm out of the, I'm always out of the loop. I'm always out of the loop. I'm, I'm just out of the loop as a person. <laughs> I need to go find these people. What? The tea strainer is uh, stuck to the... I can, I can do this. I can do this. I can, I can, I can save this. Got it. It's Ari! Hello! So far, nothing's gone on. Nothing's gone on fire yet, so... What's that for? It's a little brush. We're brushing the olive oil around this little baking dish. Just to get it all oily. I don't know, I don't know how else to explain that, to be honest. Um, Trick information says, to be fair, it's a gaming crew where most, most of them are Welsh. Ah, but that's nice to see at the same time. That's, that's lovely to see. You do, in fact, love to see it, you know? Oh, banger. <gasps> Melly, hello! How are you doing? Come in, come in. Nothing's on fire yet, looks at Dave. Don't forget to give Dave a little pat so that you will be spared. We are going to play Cult of the Lamb next week, I've decided, and we're going to... It's going to be Cult of Dave. I know how it's going to play out. Cult of Dave. We're going to do it. Right. We have minutes left with the onions. we got to wait. we got to wait. we got to wait. The Dave of the Lamb. Cult of the Dave. Cult of the Dave. Now. Where are loops and how can I be them? I don't know. I need, I, I don't know. Ink the Red says this stream is straight fire. You know, that's a good point. That's a good point. Fluffy Muffin basically, I'm okay with the Cult of Dave. It sounds trustworthy. I mean, he's an honest bird. I can't just, I can't assure anything else. <laughs> oh yes, I'm gonna turn this down a tiny bit. They are looking, oh, they look perfect. Oh, almost perfect. I'll pop the garlic in in two minutes now. We'll be away for slates. Kate, where'd you find, where did Dave find you? In the depths of hell. And now he's here forever. And I can't do nothing about that. <laughs> Just watch Dave feed us though, because a friend of mine last night was starving me in her cult. And no bed. That's kind of rough. That's kind of rough. I'll be going into that game like knowing absolutely nothing. Like I've had nothing, nothing spoiled for me at all. And I'm quite happy about that to be honest. It's kind of the way I want it. Turns out I didn't have to go and back now. Oh, welcome back, Tomo. Oh, welcome back to your good self. All right, come on, come on, come on. Hey, Google, how long is after my timer? I have no good sense of time today. You've got 16 seconds remaining. Oh. Hey, Google, y you can cancel the old timer there now, can't you? All right, consider it canceled. All right. Hey, Google, set a timer for one minute. Okay. One minute, and that's starting now. Oh, and the garlic smells so good! Oh, I love the smell of garlic, it's so nice. It's so, so good. It's delicious, it's nutritious, I love it, I love it. So what we're gonna do is once that's done, we're gonna spread like the onion garlic mixture here, and then we're going to start arranging all of these. Yes, no, that's right. This, where are the courgettes? Oh, they're all the way over here. Courgettes, tomatoes, potato, aubergine. And we're just gonna do like little little layers all the way around. We're gonna try and make it neat. Try. Then once the oven's the right temperature, that's going in. We're bringing the focaccia over. We're going to shape that, throw it on the tin, give that another like 25-ish minutes. And then that's going in. Then that is coming back. This is coming back out. And we need to take the paper off it. We need to put some cheese on it. Now I only have cheddar, but I think it'll be fine. I couldn't find Gruyere for the life of me. So I'll throw on a bit of cheddar and then we put it back in for like 20 minutes. And at that point, the focaccia should also be going in, and then we're done. <laughs> That's all I got. That's the plan. I'm definitely going a little slower than I really wanted to today, but look at We're having a nice time, I think. Oh, you want, you want to see this? Look at... Onion. Onion. Mm. Oh yeah, that's good. That's the good. That's the goodness. That's what you need. Cheddar. Exactly. Cheddar. Be grand. <laughs> Circle, how are you doing? Come in, come in. Oh, it's it's just like, there, there's something about the smell of frying onions. There's nothing, there's nothing quite like it. Like, and when you put garlic into the mix, like you, that's it, you're set. You're set for life, you know, that'll do. Okay, I'm gonna pop this back over here. It doesn't have to be a very thick layer, it just has to be here. 
So that is very much there. Brilliant. All right. I should have... Actually, no, no, to be fair, it's, it's not hot enough to go through. Let's grind. Please, someone invent smell of vision please. I beg of you. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. If you're inter interested in future recipes, Swiss cheese is a... Is a what? Hang on. Um, is a... Oh, a good substitute. That's good to know. I, I didn't know what I could substitute for it, so I'm just using whatever we have in the fridge. Zach, delicious. Hello, and Joby. Hello. And fried onions always remind me of fun fairs. That makes me so happy. It's just... It's so good. It's like distant smell of like hot dogs and burgers, you know? Okay. It's time to layer everything. Am I doing this right? Yeah, we put it all in and then we salt, pepper, thyme, olive oil in the oven. Let's go, let's go. This is gonna take hopefully not too long. Yeah, I'll do it this way. It doesn't really matter. They won't remember there was a smell vision movie a few years back where I'm making that up. I have a memory. Oh, this is gonna look kind of cool. I think we're gonna run out of aubergine like really quickly. I don't think we're gonna have enough, but it'll be fine. Um, I remember there being talk of developing something along the lines of smell vision for the PlayStation. Now, I don't know if that was just like a satire piece on the telly or something, but I remember it so, so vividly. Like so, so, so vividly. Now, I'd like to point out that the way I'm gonna be layering this is going to be messy, but it will hopefully taste good. And that is what's important at the end of the day, you know? Wait, raw potatoes are safe to eat. I mean, I still, I still wouldn't recommend it, but really? Don't you go out eating raw potatoes now just because you heard that, but... Huh. Every day's a learning day, lads. I, I'm not going to have enough aubergine. Maybe I should have gotten two. It'll be grand. We have enough of everything else to, you know, make it work, so it'll be grand. Do -do 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 -do. It'll be grand. And the Wild Thornberry's Robots crossover movie had smell of vision Oh. I've never experienced smell of vision Now, for some films, you, you aggressively do not want smell of vision <laughs> There's a lot of features that I think we'd all live a more peaceful life not having smell of vision for at all. Yeah, this is going to be a bit... It's going to be a bit scrungly as food goes, but it's going to taste good, I think. I hope. If it doesn't taste good, then I'll lie down on the floor and think about my life choices. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's the plan. That's the plan. Solid plan. What could possibly go wrong? Look how big these are. <laughs> We gotta bring it around town. Hang on, I gotta I got redirect the flow of the, the the vegetable traffic. Vegetable traffic flow. Here we go. My fiance knew a woman who gave her children raw potatoes instead of apples. Oh no! No, that that is that is messed up. That is that. If that's not illegal, it should be. And it's probably not illegal, but it should be illegal. I've decided. I'm trying to kind of stand them up properly. Okay, I'm about to run out of aubergine. <laughs> so it's just going to be everything else the whole way around. Raw potatoes instead of apples, I'll be calling them. <laughs> Honestly, like, that, that's messed up. Don't, don't give kids raw, raw potatoes. That is... That is wrong on some level of the universe, you know? Okay, um, taking pom de terre a bit, a bit, bit literally, bit literally there. Okay, I think we'll have a nice, like, kind of even ring of aubergine for the outside, so it won't look weird, it won't look like uneven. I think this will actually work out kind of okay. The absolute holy size of this though, oh my goodness. Oh, it looks really cool though. Um, this, I think I have a little too much of some stuff. Hang on, I should probably back it up a little bit. Back it up, back it up. Um, we need potato, tomato, aubergine. Stand them up, stand them up. Now we're going to bring it around. Courgette, potato, tomato, last bit of aubergine. Have I cut up too many vegetables? I think I might have done. Wait, wait, oh no, what did I miss? Kova, no! And that's it, five minutes. Five minutes on the front page, get out of your system, go on, go on. I know you're, you're dying for this one, go on. Go on, out of your system, five minutes. Ye are devils through and through, ye really are. But I wouldn't have you any other way. Or maybe I wouldn't, I just didn't tell you. No, that's a lie. I wouldn't have you any other way. Okay, we're gonna pack this up really, really tightly. 
if you survive this, for anyone coming in, if you survive what's currently happening in chat, you're gonna have a great time here and you will be fine. You'll be well able for it. Oh goodness. Oh, magpie. Hey, magpie. Little oh, squeaky magpie. Who's that? Oh, ambitious lever, hello. How are you doing? Thank you for 28 months. I killed a man with this thumb. <laughs> How are you doing? Thank you for sticking around. How, how's things? Are you well? Are you hanging in there? I'm actually gonna straighten everything up a little more. Du, 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 du. Bring it back, I'm bringing it back. I'm reversing all the vegetables. Irish, how are you, Nuala? <laughs> oh, how are you now, Nuala, huh? Oh, geez, do you know, Nuala's had a wicked time of it recently. Did you hear what happened to her? Sure, Nuala was only going down to get the cabbages out of the shop. And you know, like, on the way down, she met Pauline. And if you stop talking to Pauline, like, you're there for the rest of your life. You know how Pauline is. She doesn't know how to stop talking. So she's standing there anyway, talking to Pauline, Nuala is. And she's telling her about the christening that happened last week, the wedding that happened the week before, and it's all going down. Now, Nuala's just trying to get down to the shop for the cabbages for the dinner, right? And that's not going to plan at all, because she can't get away from Pauline, because Pauline's telling her about all of this. So she's trying to kind of make a little bit of an exit, and she's kind of like, now, lovely Pauline, lovely, take care now, you know. Oh, look after yourself but doesn't Pauline only start following into the shop so she's in the shop and she's trying to buy the cabbages and everything she's standing there with it in her arms and Pauline's still telling Nobody her about the two Christmas last week now. We we will never you stop stop no typical you. Pauline <laughs> Melly thank you very much for the bits I thank you very very much typical Pauline actually I only know one Pauline and she's lovely <laughs> oh no get back out of there potato tomato I actually think I have cut too many vegetables. I think I, I miscalculated by quite an amount. But I think I'll be able to slot everything in together so it's still right. Potato. Tomato. Courgette. Potato. I'm just gonna start shoving things in all around the place. Tomato. Courgette. Who's that? Pekka, thank you for the bits. The feast Google was you. I found foul or vov potatoes. Bad foul. You said that vov potatoes aren't properly digested and as viewy with a nut wishful value. My favorite part is that I couldn't actually understand most of that because of the illegal speech. Well, actually, no, it is legal at the minute. I can't really be angry about that. I'm not angry for the record. It wouldn't be funny if I was angry, you know? Like, actually angry. Yeah, I'm gonna just start slotting vegetables in wherever they fit. Like literally anywhere I can fit another vegetable in here, it's going in. And it'll, it'll be happy about it too. So anyway, I says I, I says to I says to Nula afterwards, I said, would you not just tell her to go away? Like, would you not just tell Pauline that you have places to be, you have stuff to do, you have to go home and make the dinner or we're all going to starve to death? And she goes, no, because that wouldn't be very nice of me, because then I'd have to leave her sitting there on her own, talking to the wall. So she takes pity on her, so she stay in the shop, listening to Pauline for the next two hours, and sure, the bacon is boiled away to nothing, the arse is boiled, boiled out of the pot, there's no dinner on the table for anybody. It's an awful time. It's an awful experience. She's too soft. Has to give Pauline a piece of her mind. I'm gonna just start putting extra bits in here, like wherever I can fit them. So the pa the pattern's not gonna be perfect, but it'll be grand. Raw potatoes doesn't get digested. Why wasn't gonna kill you? Yeah, it's it's not very nutritionally good for you. I would say the aubergine is just so so inconveniently large in this dish. But it does look very good. Um, I love chinchillas. Oh, good luck. What are you shiny hunting for? Did you say? What are you shiny hunting for? You didn't actually say. Good luck. Can we get some good luck for the shiny hunt? Best of luck. I've, I haven't shiny hunted in so, so long. It's been a long, long L time. Like a, a big L time. That's it. You've had your five minutes, lads. You've had all five of those minutes. I'm trying to see if there's anywhere else I can fit in any more vegetables. I'm worried about the aubergine, because it's just so unbelievably awkwardly shaped. But that does look actually very cool. <laughs> Even though it's like, you know, it's a little awkward looking, it's, it's, it looks delicious, and that's what matters. Oh, that's what she said. Whoa, Marty, you got him! <laughs> Think about what you've done. 
I need to put in more of these because they won't get out on their own. Is your apron spoopy themed? It is. It's got little little pumpkins and like little cats and dogs dressed up for Halloween. It's very cute. It's very, very cute. And it's very thick aubergine. It's very part roasted. I'm starting to think I might have cut it a bit too thick. Like it's going now, it's gonna be in the oven for a long time. Like it's not going in for 10 minutes or anything. Do I really want to take it out and slice it up? I don't have time. <laughs> I kind of do. I kind of do. I think it'll be okay. Like, it's going to be in there for like an hour total. Hmm. Hmm. I think it might be okay. Okay, the oven's not at temperature yet. Oh, that's true. It should shrink in the oven. Big brain. Big brain. Hours be grand. Fingers crossed. I believe. Do you want to see it up close? It's actually like. They will shrink, which is, you know, good to know. I've, I've actually, I don't know if I've ever cooked aubergine before. It looks a little messy, but like, that's kind of cool. Come on, that, that, that's at least a little bit cool. Look at that. Look at that. If one of God love me somebody, when it's raining, then raining on me, on it be. All right, that'll do. That's enough for you. <laughs> it looks yum. Yeah, it looks good. Like, I, I love a good colorful piece of food. Like, I know I don't mind. I'll eat anything, you know? Well, within reason, you know, within reason. But when, when, when food just looks like colorful and bright and beautiful, you know? Those are certainly vegetables in the spiral. Thank you. <laughs> Let cheese food. Okay, I need to get the olive oil. Uh, olive oil. I need some thyme. And I need some salt and pepper. Simple, easy, straightforward, no messing. Pepper. Where is the... I don't know where the salt shaker is. I had... Oh, here's the salt shaker. And the, um, the coarse salt is, of course, for the focaccia, which we'll be getting in a minute. Oh, excuse me. Why is there spy music on? Because we're on a mission to make this. Now, I'm gonna kind of, no, I'm not gonna eyeball anything. One tablespoon is what we want. If you need the time, it's almost four o'clock. Let's go. Ooh. I'm gonna put a tiny bit extra in just for good luck. I hope this doesn't backfire on me somehow. The sneakiest ratatouille you've ever seen. I'm pretty sure this is like Pokemon Coliseum music. I think it played actually earlier on a different playlist. Wait a bit. I think that might do, I hope. I hope. Okay. If it doesn't do, then we'll find out. Where's the cap off of this? Cap is gone. Oh, there it is. There it is. Um, Prince is good boy. Hello. Is this the theme hospital music? I genuinely don't know at all. I'd have to, I'd have to stop it and check, and I just don't really want to stop it. <laughs> all right, let's let's hit it. Let's just pickle it. Absolutely pickle. No, not really pickle it. Only a little bit comes out. A little bit of pepper and some thyme. It's time to eat thyme. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> this little stringy bit that came off. Hang on. Take a big old chunk of this now and just throw it on there. Cooking is an art, baking is a science. Oh my dear, Rom, hello. You were entirely correct. I'm just gonna throw these bits on. Baking has to be precise. And that's something I forget sometimes when I'm cooking something like this. Because I have book I have booked. I've baked more than I've cooked on stream. And if you get something wrong when you're baking, like, that's it. It's just going to melt. Like, the whole cake, it's just going to melt, and there'll be nothing more about it, and that'll be it. Sorry, vegans, I'll probably cover them grated cheese. Funny you should say, because we are going to do exactly that once it's been in the oven for a little while, so... You know you can get vegan cheese as well, and to be honest, for, you know, that's pretty, it's pretty good. That's pretty good. You can't take it away from him. Resourceful. I'm gonna put... I kind of want to put more oil in. Okay, the oven's at temperature, this kind of needs to go in. I also need to cover it with something, which is an issue because I don't have any tin foil. So I'm going to do something incredibly scuffed. I'm going to put a bit of baking parchment over it. I'm gonna to have to like tuck it in underneath and it's super scuffed. And I know it's super scuffed, but it's the only option I have. Because for some reason I have once again forgotten to buy tin foil. 
Right, it's going in. It's going in, it's going in the oven. No fear. No fear. Death. Okay, it's in. Hey Google. Hey Google. Set a timer for 35 minutes. All right, 35 minutes. Starting now. I actually don't have any butcher string and that would be ideal. That would be absolutely perfect. Okay, I need to take like one minute to just crunch. We don't wait. We have no time to wait. We have focaccia to make. Take a little sip. We have a little groove. That groove, we keep going. I'm gonna put all the spare vegetables to one side and I'll make something else with them after stream. Gotcha. Oh, we have a shark close up, hang on. Is there anybody here? I feel like there might be. A few people who've never seen shark and who've never met shark before. And I think it's about time. Let me just close in the window a little bit. Now we need something to really jam to, you know? What we got, what we got? All right, we ready? Are we ready? We have a shark close up. Oh, he's, he's on the way. Oh, he's on the way. Here he is. Oh, there he goes. Hey, 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 hey. Have you been drinking your water? Have you eaten enough today? Be good to you. Do it. Sip your soap. Because you're worth it. Oh, he's... You sure? Oh, he's gonna... He's gonna do it! He's... Oh, he's gonna do it! Boop. It has been done. It has been done. Now. Now, booped on the snoot directly. Now we need to move everything and do everything all at once. <laughs> okay, that goes up there. I'm going to, I don't know where to put these, over here. <laughs> They'll just have to go over there for now. Dave, do oh Dave, no! Dave, you sit up. I can't deal with the fallout of you falling over. The fall over of you falling out. Here we go, now, now. I'm gonna move the time. I'm gonna move this. I'm gonna move these tomats over with the other tomats. Hecha. Several parishes, ah, we have a few par- Ah, it's a very good day for the parish now, isn't it, all together? I have a load of spare tomatoes that I haven't even chopped up or anything. Tomat! Shaney, how are you doing? Come in, come in. I'm gonna put all of these and these over into the little vegetable cart. And then we're gonna get the focaccia because it's been maybe, I hope it hasn't overproved. I did have to leave it there a little longer than really I had planned to, but look at it. It'd be fine, it'd be grand. What am I looking for? Cloth, here we go. Tablecloth, not, not, but not that kind of tablecloth. And um, Pickett says, I realized I accidentally named my blow high after Jurgen Wingcaller from Skyrim. I mean, look, you could do worse. There's definitely worse names you could come up with for your shark than that. By far, by far, by far. With the same Penny's water bottle, I feel like half the country has a good, this particular Penny's water bottle. Like, it, it's pretty good. It, it holds water and it has a straw. And if I have a straw and a water bottle, I will drink so much more water than otherwise. If I have to, no, no, not at all. It doesn't work for me. If I can sip a quick sup of water, then I will be hydrated, you know? The whole day long. Now. Are we ready to see the dough? Once we do this part, we can make a cup of tea. So I'm gonna try and do it kind of fast. <gasps> Ooh, hello. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful, I could cry. I'm just gonna get me a recipe. So 
My little rectangle tin, tip the dough out, and I'm gonna get me tin, actually. I forgot to get the tin. Wrong tin. I knew I was forgetting something. Is the tin in here? Yes, it is. I'm pretty sure this is the tin I used last time. It worked out grand. It's a little deep, but I think it'll do grand. It'll be fine. I'll give it a quick rinse. Quick rinse if it's been sitting in here. Oh, there we go. And the exact opposite, I love about two and a half liters so I don't forget to drink. I mean, you're, you're right too, honestly. You're, you're absolutely right. My eyes dry out very easy if I don't drink enough water. Thinking about it now, my eyes also dry out a lot if I do drink enough water, so maybe there's no hope for me. <laughs> right, I wanna put that there, I wanna oil it. Oil, that, tin. And just by pure coincidence, I actually left the little brush over here as well, so. The quality tin, it's a nice little tin. I think it's the one I used last time. I don't remember exactly, that's too quiet, there we go. Oh yes, that's the business. I have a good feeling about this one. I have a good feeling. So we want to shape it. Now the problem I ran into the last time I tried this was that, I got nervous. <laughs> Your kitchen's so chaotic. Ah, chicken stick. Ah, that's one of the better compliments I've ever gotten. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> How are you doing? Is the can of beans, nobody has really commented on the can of beans, which is mad because we have more new people in today than we, oh, no, forget everything. I have to show you this first. Quick, 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 quick. Oh, yo. Yo! Anyway, that's, that's all. That's all. <laughs> so I think what I want to do is just like, hold it in my hands, stretch it, put it into the tin. Oh, Yoris is out of COVID quarantine tomorrow, yes! Give it up for, give it up for getting out of quarantine, yes! Okay, stretch to fit. I'm gonna do this very, very carefully very very carefully and I can always can always you know what you know what that's not bad that's a pretty decent fit it's a fairly even looking fit the fit Chef Hot Dog Water Look, I could, do, I could do with a feed of beans now. Oh, goodness. I mean, look, if it cures with ales, yeah, that's what's important. You got a good looking toaster in the back. It, I like it a lot. It's too big. It's too big and I feel really bad, but it, it's genuinely too, too big. All right, cover with the tea towel, proof for 25, or 25 minutes. We can actually take a break for a cup of tea now. Is this what I had over the bowl? Yes, it is. I really hope the focaccia comes out nice. I hope everything comes out nice, obviously. I'm gonna put this back where I had it as well because it's off where I can't knock it over by accident. Hey Google, set a timer for 30 minutes called pizza time. Just so I know which is which. Second timer, pizza time for 30 minutes, starting now. Okay, that's it. We can now have a cup of tea. <laughs> we can now have a cup of tea and a sit down. <sighs> Wait, hey Google, how long is left on my timer? Let me just make sure. You have two timers. The 35 minute timer is running with 26 minutes and 54 seconds to go and the 30 minute timer called pizza time is running with 29 minutes and 51 seconds. I think everything is gonna be done at the same time. Like I'm, I actually think everything will be finished and out of the oven at the same time. I'm so happy. It's something I really struggle with when I'm cooking stuff. <gasps> Good news from Kirsten C. I'm skipping my math class today to figure out how to change my schedule and major for the sake of my mental health. Yes! We, we love prioritizing mental health when possible. Looking after yourselves, you know. I'm delighted you're able to do that, getting it all sorted out. Oh, credits. I'm so sorry. It, it do be like that sometimes. If you're here and you don't have the headphones on, I will set off your Google. I will. It's just the way it'd be. Spontaneous, hello! Love the iron mouse emotes. How are you doing? Come in, come in, come in. All right. Hands in the air. Who wants a cup of tea? Let's go. Cup of tea. I've been dying. I know I feel this by the spout. It's because it's really, really, really hard to get the, the lid off this kettle, trust me. You have to kind of put your whole body weight into it. Hands in the air, like you may or may not care. The, the, no, Phoebe, 
It's okay, don't worry. I, I've thought this one ahead. So it's going to, the first timer for that in the oven is going to go in that time, but then it needs to go back in for 30 minutes, which means the focaccia will be going in at the same time that that's going back in. Now, the only issue is we do need a slightly different oven temperature, so I'm gonna keep an eye on it. I'll have to check them every couple of minutes, but I think we'll get away with it. Hmm. All right, cup of tea, it is time. I missed. In you go. I missed. <laughs> and water. I'm gonna put the onions aside. And I'm going to sit down. <laughs> this is the most I've done on a cooking stream in a while. I just want, I, you know, I wanted to make something nice, you know? I mean, we pretty much always make something nice, but look at Oh, excuse me, sorry, I'm really stiffly. You ever drink matcha tea? I've had matcha tea as well, actually. I prefer, I know this is gonna sound very, very, very well about me, but I really like matcha latte. And I haven't had a matcha latte in a long, long time, because I've never made one myself, and I don't tend to get hot drinks when I'm out and about. Like, unless it's like a hot bubble tea, that's the only thing I get, because I'm always worried it's not nice, you know? Um, Rowan says, I'm glad you offered, actually, I've been after a cup of tea, but there are people I don't know downstairs, and I don't have the courage to go down and put the kettle on. Rowan, you, you go get your cup of tea. You do it. You do it. And um, Phoebe says, I bake all the time, maybe she start streaming it. I didn't know cook and bake and streams are a thing. Yeah, I've been, I've been doing them for well over two years at this point. And there's people who've been doing it many years before me. I definitely recommend it. It's really good fun. And it's made, like, personally for me, it's gotten me to make things that I'd be too afraid to try making otherwise, do you know? I'd be too nervous to try new things. And yeah, I would recommend it. Like, even if you just start with like a webcam and a little microphone, like you're, you're set, you know? I think it's definitely worth trying out. And it's good fun, you know? If Barry's branch out in picture tea, they could sell Barry's tea. Well, you're gonna have to go pitch that idea to me. <laughs> oh, goodness. Feels like I'm watching a comedy skit. Oh, I mean, this, nothing has gone horrifically wrong. So, you know, as it goes, very peaceful day today. Very peaceful. I could ruin everything and ask the Google Home something. Hey, Google. Set a five minute timer. That's not the thing. That's not the thing that's gonna ruin everything. Third timer for five minutes. And we're starting now. I put this on TikTok recently because I, I laughed so hard the first time I heard that I actually fell on the floor. And it, I wasn't like, I wasn't trying to do a bit. I wasn't like trying to be funny. I actually laughed so hard I kind of lost control of my legs. <laughs> hey Google, what does an imp sound like? This is an imp. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. That's the imp. <laughs> Welp. <laughs> yeah, that's. <laughs> oh, goodness. Hey, Google. What does a gremlin sound like? Sorry, I don't understand. Yeah, yeah, she, she understands imps, but not gremlins. I see how it is. I see how it is. I see how it is, that's fine. Who <laughs> did you just try to summon? Nobody, yet. Oh, goodness. Oh. Oh, ha, ha. Ah, you know, sometimes you gotta have an L sit down. What's a... Oh, it does a werewolf noise, actually. Hang on. Hey, Google. What does a werewolf sound like? This is a werewolf. <sighs> now. Now. <laughs> what does a scrunkly scrim blow sound like? Oh, goodness. <laughs> what the dog doing? Okay, tea, the mess over there. That's fine, that's fine. Actually, do you mind if I take just one minute? Just one minute. I'm gonna do that. Oh, see, I, um, I did jump over cake once, one time. One time I did jump over cake. 
Would you hold on for me for one minute? I'm going to just, I need, I need to run and pee. I'll be back in a minute. Is that okay? Here, I'll give you a little tune that you can listen to in the meantime, because this is not running through the, the laptop. I can, I can play the Poffin music, get you all excited, you know? Oh, if it'll play, we'd do great. All right, you can listen to this for like a minute. I am gonna run an ad just so the people aren't getting pre-rolls and that's all right. So give me one minute, one minute held on tight and I'll be back, all right? Two minutes, <laughs> such a sleigh. <laughs> Two minutes. <laughs> 